All right, uh, welcome back, everyone. I am streaming tonight for the first night, I think, in... I want to say I last streamed Wednesday. No? Pre I think last Wednesday I streamed, and then I didn't play for a few days. Uh, had, you know, birthdays, uh, weddings come up. So I didn't play last Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I did play last night, so I was able to get in a league with a theoretical list that I came up with. Um, I just tweeted out, I'm going to play with main deck snuffouts tonight. Because I think that's probably where the direction of the deck is headed. And the reason being is twofold. Um, I think the first... Uh, as always, I like to conserve cyborg slots, and I just, you know, cut the fat, so to speak. Um, get rid of the cards I don't think we need anymore, and just, like, this not legacy power level uh, to my standards. Um, namely, I cut the third wirewood. I think, I'm, I've hinted this to people, I think um, the wirewood visionary, like, pair is on borrowed time. And what I mean by that is I don't think it's going to be in this deck potentially going forward uh, once Moloch gets printed uh, on MTGO. And it to me, like, this is very much a tempo deck, and it's, like, significantly faster coming out of the gates than uh, or pressuring the opponent than the... Uh, the traditional list because you have dorks um and just like, every threat is a must answer right the wirewood and visionary is nice to grind and there is a chance they can make it it's just the problem is i think moloch might just be too strong to not at minimum not try but like maybe it's just too strong not to play overall uh but i guess we'll find out right like and then um the other reason what is uh Besides saving space, I think one of the issues that I have, and I see this is, I see this more like when an opponent like aggressively mulligans against me, like because they are a combo deck and they know I don't have force of will. Like obviously, I could just switch decks. Uh, I'm not sure the audience would enjoy that personally if I did that. Like, like on paper, it's more easily for me to switch decks because I just like own Delve, I own DNT, I own a bunch of other stuff I could play, right? I don't really own other decks online. I could just like get a rental account or just like buy because every card I have, I I've bought personally, so I could just like buy the deck. Uh, like I think a good deck to hey Josh, how's it going? Uh, I think a good deck to buy to complement this is maybe yeah rental accounts are pretty OP. So like maybe that's just like what I should be doing. Uh, maybe I'm just like punting pretty badly by not doing that. Um, but if I don't do that, I think what is possible is I did own Dell. Oh, sorry, I did own DNT before. I don't think DNT actually is a good complement for elves. The reason being is because uh, DNT kind of like is weak to combo, and while elves has a better combo matchup than DNT, uh, I don't want to be weak kind of to the same thing, right? I mean, if you only ever make play one deck, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, in theory, I would if I did have a rental account, I'd probably like switch. I can't play Delver for too much. I just get bored, right? I, I, it's just like does not sustain my interest. Uh, I think that, don't get me wrong. I think the deck's obviously good, and you don't you're like less susceptible to. I guess the best way I, I, I can explain it is you're less susceptible to opposing brews because you, you attack on so many levels, um, and you have force of will, right? And the other reason, so the other thing I I, I wanted to address was. Besides Force of Will, the other thing people have taken for granted is that, oh, elves cannot take, cannot kill your creatures. I don't want that to be true anymore because I can't really control the Force of Will angle outside of, like, completely redoing the deck, which I don't think is worth it, at least at this juncture. Uh, but I think the main deck removal, in, in addition to saving space, is would remove one of the problems or potential problems that you could run into if people put you on elves or, or whatnot, right? Uh, there is... Of course, other ways you can circumvent that. Um, I mean, rumor on the street is the trophy leaders were playing with, uh, you know, all accounts. Right? I, don't, I don't know who would do such a thing, but, like, that is another way you can circumvent it if you don't want to change decks, right? Um, okay, so on to the list. Uh, I posted this on my Discord um, and on Patreon. 
Like most of these card selections shouldn't be too shocking. I think the biggest ones are probably because I had room after moving the snuff outs to the main deck. I think I I wanted the fiend uh the mesmeric fiend because I just think it gives a very different angle of attack that uh there is like somewhat of a hole against show and tell decks. And I think Fiend Artisan being able to represent discard against these A plus B combo decks is probably worth it for one slot. Uh, and I I I played I said I played last night with this list, more or less, and I think the Mesmeric Fiend was pretty good as it won me two games like by itself, right? And it just it felt like just I wanted that angle of attack. Um, the Wheel of Sun and Moon is possible because with main deck snuff, I just have more room I can allocate towards um, the Delver matchup because I'm almost pre boarded here. Uh, and this card is a house against Delver. And it has applications against Reanimator and Doomsday too, but a little bit slow. But it's like a two-mana win against Delver, right? They, they, a lot, they just cannot beat this card, like, a lot of times. Assuming it sticks. And then I had have, I have a crop rotation in this list last night. Um, it kind of was the most underwhelming card, like, surprisingly. Like, I don't love Force of Vigor, to be honest, but, like, Force of Vigor did win me a game against TEG because they were playing around my bird trap. Um, so... I thought about playing one mind return just as like a, a, you know, insulation against like nonsense mulligans, right? Or nonsense gameplay. But I I think I want to test the Vando just and see how it, it like does in this list. Hey Mike, how's it going? The other thing I wanted to do was um, what was it called? Uh, okay, so last night Fuller Scholar, I did test you know offline, uh, not not on stream, but I did test uh something that I saw was pretty cool um. Shout out to uh, Dom Harvey, who won the Mana Traders event. Um, I saw that he played Gemstone Caverns, and I didn't realize that card was seen play in Modern at the moment. In uh, Not only did he play it in his Amulet list, um, I saw it, it also sees play in the, uh, what is it called, the Rhinos list. I think that's what it was. I, I don't, the, the Cascade list. And then, it is a card that I have loved. Oh, thank you for the sub, Dukes. Um... Really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, definitely. We got to do a stream together, by the way, Dukes, when you're free. I know you're on Australian time, but um, I definitely want, still want to do that with you when you're free. And then, obviously, we got to do a green deck, so Maverick, it it would be... Like, Fiend Artists and Maverick is, is what I had in mind, but like, obviously, we can play whatever you want. But the other thing I wanted to do was... I tested um, the Gemstone Caverns because I have loved that card in 1v1 EDH. As a way to just like steal the play. The problem I f you quickly found in the first league last night was uh, when 50% of the time you will not be on the play, and a colorless source in this deck is just really bad. Like, obviously, Reclaimer can fix, but I've had, I had come up last night where like my plan was okay, Reclaimer's gonna just pitch this to, for Cradle, and then they had Bolt for my turn one Reclaimer. And I'm like, okay, this mana base is just like really bad now. Uh, so I just don't think it's worth it. Even though it was a cool idea that I saw that Dom Harvey had. They had irrelevant duplicates of pitch. So yeah, we had, so the pitch is not the problem, Mike, in my experience. Like, I, got, I drew it three times. Two of the times it was a colorless land. One time I got to do the thing. I still lost because, um, Luke, come on, stop. I still lost because, uh... I got comboed out by Painter, but that's a whole different story. I think the pitch is actually not the problem. And if I could just pitch consistently every game, I would be willing to live with it, I think. Uh, so my, I think that's like partially true. It's because the grief problem is I don't really want to pitch Artisan, but I have things I can pitch for Tempo at least for... Um, what's it called? For uh, Gemstone Caverns. It, it, it was more so the colorless land that was bothering me for what it's worth. Yeah, so I, I suspect Maverick may have the same problems, Bookish Matt. I suspect Maverick may have the same problems too because uh, Maverick's probably even more color intensive than Elves, right? Blue, stop. Come on. Uh, da, da, da. It's two plus lands rather than replace. Oh, so if you add it as other lands, maybe that's okay, but you might be flooding is the only thing I'm afraid of. Y yeah, see, like, Bookish Matt, uh... You, you're probably talking to the wrong person. Like, I'm probably one of the most conservative when it comes to mana bases. Like, I think I'm the only one right now playing 23 lands. I think everybody else is playing 22, first of all. I think in the traditional build, they like to play 19. 
And shout out to Adriano, by the way, who took my advice and is playing 20 lands in the, the traditional build. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I do have Once Upon a Time, too. So, like, the traditional build... Um, yeah, again, shout out to Adriano, who took my advice and who's been killing it on the, the prelims. He finished 4-0 once and then got, I think, like, three, three ones. But he played the mana base I suggested to him, which was the 20 lands, you know, uh, eight fetches, only two Baseju, and then three ones upon a time, which I, I think that is the best mana base. And I, I, I don't want to, like, harp on that too much, but, like, again, I'm, I don't want to lose games, essentially, to myself. And I get there's a trade-off. Sometimes you want to take some of the risks so that you have a higher power level. I do think, for what it's worth, the deck is better, including fat win factoring power level, um, when you just have the higher land count. Because your once upon a time can get whatever you want, right? Instead of just needing to get the first land, right? You can't get a cradle when you want, and and so on and so forth. One idea I had was a 3-4 initial green creature. So, Josh, I thought about that card. I think it's, like, reasonable if you're playing against a lot of control. Uh, the issue, the issue I found, I think with that card is, uh, I feel like control should be like close to a buy, right? Like we're going to beat control anyways. Um, obviously you can still lose, but I think under most circumstances, we want to play control. Like these Uro decks, I think line up really, really poorly against Endurance and Reclaimer. So, uh, I'm not really afraid of these control decks. Uh, also it's five mana essentially with Green Sun. So... Not the quickest, right? I think I would rather have something more versatile. If if all you play against is control decks, obviously I think it's probably fine. Uh, I think a second Gris is probably just better because it's a one, it comes out one mana early and has more um, applications. Uh, the other thing I think could be better too is like if you really want another con anti-control card, I think Marin, uh, the Knit Fit card could be okay, but probably like Gris is just a second Gris is probably just best. Um. I'm playing, like I said, Mass Vandal. Uh, that could be, like, whatever, but I'm just going to test it to see tonight. Without further ado, I guess we can get started. Um, to be fair, I am probably underestimating the matchup. Like, I haven't really played against it much. I just assume I'm just going to, like, roll a lot of these control players. But, I mean, if I did want another card, it's probably the second uh, Grist for what it's worth. Uh, slight chance I... There's like something else I want, but I think Second Grace is probably better than the Marin. But yeah, if you want a control killer, uh, the green initial guard, it's probably fine. Five mana is a lot for what it's worth. I think I played against this like uh, three natural orders. Not we don't want, we're not poking playing poker here, so I got a mole. Uh, this is ew, no one drop is kind of bad. Uh, what do I want to do here? I don't think we want to mull again. Get it? Uh, I think we'll just keep, and then this is like kind of a sketch hand. I think we put the vision, it, well, okay. Uh, it depends what we want to put our opponent on, right? Like, I think in the dark... Maybe we just put the snuff out back. Uh, we're gonna pretend like we're not on L's and just like pass the turn here, right? Yeah, mints. I mean, to be fair, if they sweep into Jace, it's probably still winning the game. Uh, mints just does it better. But I, I think if they do have that line, we'll probably lose anyways. I, I don't think there's anything particular with mints. I do think mints is probably better um overall because you i mean in the, like in the mirrors and whatnot you're dodging red blast but i think against us it's like better because it like controls the board all right we'll see what our opponent is on sure so 
I played it safe there. I put the snuff out back. Obviously, if they're on Delver, I would have preferred the snuff out, but I just played as if I don't know what they're on, which I don't. Uh, we're going to fetch a land here. That works, I guess. Um... I think they might be on Delver based on the start. It's annoying that... Actually, no, they're not. This... What, what they take off the Seas is probably gonna... Well, they'll probably take Natural Order. I was gonna say what they take off the Seas is gonna be... It's probably gonna tell us what they're on, but or potentially what they're on, but just the natural order, okay. But I was like, nah, they probably take natural regardless. Uh, now I kind of feel like they're on a combo deck. Yeah, so Mike kind of hinted at it, right? I was gonna say Ant because I don't think this is like a Doomsday start. Volcanic's pretty bad for Doomsday, I think. Um, now I kind of wish I had led with the Artisan. Um, but it's hard to say, right? Turn one volcanic, uh, it could still technically be Delver, with like a slower hand. Granted, if they know what we're on, maybe they don't. Maybe that should be a sign, right? Uh, I think here we play the land. I think we play the artisan. Um, I th I'm pretty sure they're on ant, and then we just bash. It's funny too because one of the cards I thought about in that last slot was Veil Summer. Would be pretty nice to have access to it here. One thing I, I forgot to mention is like, why not play four Snuff Outs? Um, in the main, the reason being is the, the one card I did not really want to cut is the Wasteland. And the reason being is because I feel like we need to be able to punish people for being greedy against us. Like, I do not enjoy when people like aggressively, like greedily fetch against us or greedily like play out creature because they don't think we have removal, right? Like, it's kind of the same logic. Uh, what did they exile? I guess they exiled the, uh, the bad lads. I believe it is Ant, though. They haven't done any... Well, it, I believe it's Ant, but that's a whole different story. Um, okay. So, it could be Grixis Control, but, like, they haven't really done anything. Uh, Iteration is, like, a weird card to play in Ant. Um, but, yeah, like Mike said, right? Grixis Control in this economy? That just seems not correct, right? Uh, if they had bolt, they should have bolted the artisan. All right, we're gonna bash with the visionary here. And then, yeah. Grix's control in this economy is kind of wild. Get go get Shepherd into Grix. Nah, that's that's too scared, Mike. I don't care about Force of Will. I'm I'm gonna play the uh what is it called? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the maximum efficiency line, right? Alright, uh we'll pass. We have a kill next turn. If we get comboed out here, Mike, uh, I might have to revoke your, your, your ant license. I'm just kidding, obviously. Uh, th this is definitely not stalking ant. So I, I think I would have said ant like alongside Mike after the first few um, you know plays that they made. Iteration like is definitely not stock. And if they got us with that, that's not stock, then 
I think that's something we live with. But I think, at least based on what we've seen, I would I would also guess um, Grizz's control. And like I said, like they kind of have to take the natural order instead of the Grizz, right? Like even though the Grizz is really good against control. Okay, that doesn't really do anything against us. Control D Day Delver area, all possible. Probably less so with Island. Uh, I think Delver is not really possible. They would have had some kind of. Well, I guess maybe. Uh, I mean, unless they don't really know the matchup, right? That's the only thing. Yeah, I mean, like they, they like it, it could be Delver technically, like on um, Grixis. I just like it would have to be somebody who doesn't know the matchup. Um. I think in the weird event they just like have removal after the fact, we still play the um <laughs> Alright, let's do it this way. We still bounce. Um So the thing that is kinda like interesting here is Okay, we're gonna plus and see what they do. We just gotta not hit the hoof, right? That's the only thing. All right, uh, we have lethal now, like through a lot. We have a good matchup versus White Stomp. I think so. I mean, uh, I've I haven't played in the last few days uh, outside of yesterday. Like I took three days off or three nights off just to like, you know, IRL stuff, right? But um, I I think we have a good matchup. Uh, I would argue, in some ways, we are better than the traditional build against initiative. I I just feel like a lot of the initiative players or just legacy players in general don't know how to play against elves, and that's. Why I think if you took like a fifty percent tile, um, you know, elf player and a fifty percent tile maybe like initiative player, I think I could see the argument why the the elf player is favorite. I don't believe that's probably accurate. Uh, at least for especially Delver matchup, right? That was definitely very interesting, Mike. Uh, I agree with that. We're gonna take out these snuff outs that I think could be stranded, right? Uh, the problem is the endurances are not great. Um. These like really mid rangey where like if I draw half the wrong half of my deck against them, uh, kind of like not great against our opponent, but like uh yeah I can see that Jason for sure like I would expect somebody like a Jason or like a John Ryan to like not have no problems regardless of the elf build right like I just suspect my personal like you know two cents is um. I just feel like a lot of players don't know how to play against elves, like I said, right? Like, and you take like the average legacy player, they, they probably don't know where the elf choke, choke points are. because And that's probably how the traditional build is, you know, having some success right now. That and the couple with the fact that Delver is not playing any sweepers, which plays into the, um, what's it called? The demographic, so to speak, right? Like a lot of these elf players that are not playing around anything, they just assume the combo doesn't exist. And just so happens, combo is like suppressed right now by Delver and Initiative. And it also just happens that nobody's playing sweepers right now, so. I think that flows, but you probably play against all different stomping builds than the average Elves player. Uh, that's probably true too. I will admit, uh, there is a chance that I have percentage points over the average uh, stompy player. Uh, I don't think Brotherhood's... Well, I take that back. I think Brotherhood's end is like probably okay against the nettle version they, like they like they don't they can't really afford to not like they ha almost have to like overextend right um uh, i think we want c's um do we have another card we want i think we have to keep in the uh, I, I, I think i'd rather keep it in uh, endurance than an opposition agent is if they play Smash or Dust or End. Which Dust is this? Uh, I think we got more. Smash to Dust. Okay, this is a new one that I haven't seen in a while. Uh, keep. 
Uh, low key, like this is kind of like bad, right? Yeah, like I have some nice screenshots actually from yesterday. I don't want to embarrass my opponent, um, but they're like a pretty good player too, right? They they have the the you know the showcase avatar, so for for whatever that's worth, and uh, you know seven seven Fienars and pretty good against your you know your your deck. Um, I think here we're probably gonna try to ramp because we have two turns to draw another land. Um, uh, I think yeah, we're gonna do it like this. I don't. I'm not gonna respect wasteland out of them. So I had a game last night where I just like a seven seven artisan, just like don't even need a tutor, right? Just start clocking them for the seven every turn. So, actually, I mentioned, I think, actually, my Delver matchup is the best it's been, at least since Luris was a thing. I think Luris Elves was, like, a, had a very good Delver matchup. Like, uh, Dread Horde actually changed a lot of things, and, like, for a while, I think Elves had maybe a negative or even Delver matchup. I think right now, because of the changes that we've had to make due to the metagame, um, in a lot of ways, I can almost thank um, Weiss Initiative because I probably wouldn't innovate if I didn't get forced to, right? Um, but, in a Okay, so what is going on now? So in, in a lot of ways, I was forced to innovate when I otherwise probably wouldn't have. And I think the changes that have resulted from that have made the Delver matchup probably better than it's ever been. Um, I think here we just play the Artisan, right? To be mana efficient. Actually, I'm just, yeah. We play the artisan to be mana efficient. Uh, we can also clock down the Liliana. Fable, all right. This is actually kind of interesting. I think I'm supposed to put the visionary away. Yeah, because uh, cause the problem is I want to make efficient use of my mana. So yeah, I, I think also like kind of funny. Now, now it's big enough. It would have been big enough anyways, potentially with a Grist. I don't think the mana supports Naya. So speaking of Naya, we, we, we want to play Reclaim so we can Bog next turn. Um, I think we want to Smash, personally. Oops. What is going okay, that's maybe that's the thing. I I don't I think we actually care, but that's a whole different Alright, we're gonna bash first. Um oops, not We could take this down. I don't think that's correct. Uh, I think I just tick up. You can get the Liliana off the board. They can... They're, they definitely played against a demigod player, and I don't believe this is a person. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. There's a second one. It's kind of an interesting deck. Um, I think we block here because worst thing they have removal, they could have removed it anyways. All right, that worked out pretty well, I guess. Uh, luckily, I believe we boarded in the one endurance, which is pretty neat now. Like, we, we're not gonna get, like, cheesed, potentially. Uh, 
Yeah, we're just gonna clean out their their de their uh, yard here. I don't think we're gonna play around like Holbreacher or Flash Effects here. Uh, I am a coward too, uh, Jason. So you're not alone. Like I, like I said, I am more conservative than most elf players. Like I, I just, I don't really. That's kind of annoying. That was actually really annoying, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I guess better that than like something else, right? I don't, I don't know. What we actually want them is to do is actually just tap out right now for the demigod, um, and then we can just lethal them next turn, right? Um, the fact that they brainstorm, they must have another land because it doesn't make any sense otherwise, right? Actually, I take that back. Demigod is just like that basic item looks is really bad right now, right? Because like it doesn't help cast Demigod. That's I mean, it doesn't ha help cast the na their namesake card. What was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, so I did say yeah. I think the Delver matchup is the best it's ever. Maybe not ever been, but like. I'll, probably the best, at least since Lurus. Sure. So they're going to bash for a bunch, and then we're just going to lethal them next turn. Um, they probably don't know it. Sure. So they kill the, the Gris, that's fine. Uh, not gonna mess around here. Um, well, let me see. I guess if I do it the other way, I can find like a one drop, play the, well, if I play the one drop, then I potentially, if it gets counter, I can't tutor anymore. I, th I think we don't mess around here and we just like kill our opponent. We, we don't mess around here. So I, I do do that. Like, so, I mean, maybe not so much in leagues because I don't really care. But uh, I do think about, like, how do I lose this game? I think that the average elf player probably does not do that. All right, let's catch up on what I missed in chat earlier. Yeah, I can... Okay, the, the Ballista is interesting, Jason. Uh, I definitely think that probably does help your elf matchup. I guess Jason, better than anybody else, can probably give hindsight on uh, how he feels the initiative matchup is, assuming... Uh, what's it called? Assuming you have like somebody on the traditional elves um, on the other side, right? Like I, there is a lot of belief out there right now that that has a good initiative matchup. I think a lot of that is uh, misinformation because uh, elves has doing well, but then a lot of it has been just dodging the matchup as well for what it's worth. Like two of the three um, players at Eternal Weekend didn't play at all. And then uh, I think Reed uh, in his top... We finished ninth, but he went two and two against the Eternal Weekend. So take that for uh, for whatever it's worth. Hey Adrian, how's it going? I was just giving you props, actually. Uh, I am cold. Yeah, I am cold. Uh, I don't. Th so Micrograms has been on initiative lately. This is not a great hand against initiative. Like Adrian doesn't do anything. Arbor doesn't do anything. I'm an emollient. 
the 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 doors are good, but it's like a mole gonna fire already, right? I think this is a lot better key. Uh, yeah, that, I would say that's pretty pretty accurate. Like Reed got his start from what I understand from Popper Elves, right? Like I think that's kind of how he made his name. But I mean, again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, looks like a turn one dungeoneer. I think. It would be pretty nice if we drew our like snuff outs, but again, we don't have the mana for it anyways. So I think it's just a straight race here, unfortunately. It's like not super interesting. Hey Matt, how's it going? Thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream went well. Yeah, so I will actually be on vacation uh, pretty soon too, starting later this week. So I would try to stream more next week. Uh, oh, the shout out was, um, I mentioned you've been killing it right now with the, uh, the traditional build and obviously, you know, doing well is one thing, but I, I gave you shout out because you were, uh, we talked about the mana base and I was glad you ran the mana base I suggested, which is the 20 lands, uh, you know, eight fetches two uh, three once upon a time. Right? I think that's, to me, your build is better than the other builds that I've seen of the other list because you have a better mana, uh, base, right? Oh, nice. Awesome to hear, Matt. All right, we are like almost dead already. Yeah, we might just die here. Uh, we will see. The problem is I don't think I can just like not, I can like, I don't think because I'm behind. Um, I think the line here, unfortunately, is going to be, um, oops, cancel. I think it's going to be this. And then we just have to pass, right? And then we have to kind of get lucky next turn. I think we have lethal next turn, but we, just, we have to like dodge, right? Like. Yeah, so no has a chance to get there, but again, we have to like kind of dodge. Like we lose to a sneeze now, I think. Uh, I guess it can target itself. It's been a while. Yeah, uh, so the thing is, I think when there's like a dominant deck or two decks in this case, like unfortunately the people who can't beat Delver or Initiative, which I think uh, are pretty good, uh, inf like play leagues and obviously our opponent here is not one of them because they're playing one of the, the two uh, popular decks. And I just think le leagues are hideous right now. Like I I've joked before, like winning the trophy race when you're playing Elves and No Force well is probably one of the more bigger achievements that I'm proud of. As as funny as that sounds. Um. Okay, we're just dead now. I think. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Like they're gonna get thrown, and we're gonna we're gonna get protection. So yeah, we're just dead. But yeah, that that is my gut feeling, right? I I, I joke because like obviously. If I'm being serious, um, the thing I'm most proud of about is obviously uh, winning the showcase qualifier in 2020. Uh, that and just like the community I built, I guess, like with elves too, right? But, but half joking, I guess. Like, I don't think people realize how hard it is to play leagues when you don't have force of will, and uh, or chalice, I guess, right? That's to, to a certain extent too. Yeah, yeah, right. Like when they're memeing and then. So like I I, I joke so this is during the Ragavan era too right and people gave me a lot of flack because like, oh your uh your deck is just well positioned because of well Ragavan but that that would be true if I play like challenges but this was like leagues so my argument was I thought Ragavan was good for the uh, the meta game though awful you know gameplay uh because some of these other green decks or or white decks I guess could do well but uh, I think we'll, we'll take out the um, the endurance and the opposition agent the bog is pretty bad too. 
Uh, we're born in the Force of Vigor. We'll see how the Mass Vandal is in this matchup. Uh, I like the Snuff Out. The Ms. Marifine I've thought about just as like information. I guess we'll try just for science. Uh, da -da. What do we want here? Uh, the Force of Vigor is just trying to cheese the win, right? Like... Might not be the right play. Maybe it is. I think we just want to cut the artisans actually because I think we just want to go wide. Yeah, we we count this a lot on merit. Cyborg always seems like thirty five short for coverage of the average league. Um, so what for what it's worth, I do build the cyborg like to beat. So my philosophy is kind of different from I think the majority. Not not that I'm the only one, but I kind of build the cyborg for what I'm most afraid of, which is like otherwise combo. I think elves has a good like graveyard matchup because of endurance and reclaimer, uh, at least this version. And then obviously the other version runs leyland the void too. But I I think the hardest uh combo matchup is something like the epic gamble, which has the speed and your 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 hate doesn't really do anything against them like endurance doesn't really do anything um do i want to change anything here like the average i, I know micrograms doesn't um what's it called like, doesn't keep in chalices but ch it's just nice to like flood the boards let's just try it we'll see how it, how it goes yeah so th there's I mean, I used to run, I, for what it's worth, I used to build my um, my paper game uh, decks the same way I built my online decks. Granted, this is pre demodemic obviously. But yeah, Mindbird Trap, like, I did the evaluation. It just doesn't seem worth it. And, like, if I have to lose to Tony uh, on it every once in a while, like, I think I'm willing to, I'm okay with that, right? Uh, I think given our t the texture of our hand, we want to ramp here. Uh, I think the best card in the matchup is the one in our hand, and that's Snuff Out. Possible we should just be playing four, to be honest, given this metagame. It's good against Delver. It's good against uh, Initiative. Like, what more can you ask, right? And like I said, the, the reason why I'm not is um, I wanted the room for the extra Wasteland, and maybe that's just something I can give up. Um, also, the other reason maybe not to is if you draw two against control, you probably just lose the game. N not for sure, but it's like, it doesn't look good. But yeah, uh, Snuff Out, probably the best card, I think, in this matchup. Like, they're not... One of the things that we can utilize against uh, our opponent here is we know they don't have Wasteland, right? Like, we're talking about that thing, right? From the, at, and that's why actually why I think Delver is the most well-rounded deck, if anything else. Because they can, the, there is no, so quote-unquote, oh, they're not going to have this. They, they, they will, probably will, right? They have permission. They have uh, days. They have Wasteland. They have removal. Sure. It's gonna be awful if they have a, another solitude here. It's gonna be pretty awful, but um, we just kind of have to hope, I guess. It looks like we're getting in there. That's good. So we might have just won this game already. Like the this matchup is like super swingy. Uh, none of the games are like, for the most part, not that interesting, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah I think the game is probably over already. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I just accept that I'm gonna lose to Tony, right? Like it is literally one player. Um, and Tony does raid us from time to time, so I just consider it a donation, right? I, I will, I'm willing to lose the, the, the Tony matchup. Uh, 
pressure. I don't think they're going to play trap. Like, if they have it, then they got me, right? Like, so what? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would say, like, I think the deck is beatable. I think my personal opinion is um, if you just want to, like, power level, it's probably, it's obviously has very high power level. Um, I think the reason to ban is not so much the power level, but more so... I think just like the gameplay is kind of awful, right? That's the why they kind of banned Ragavan. Um, I think the other thing it does is I think in Legacy there's a lot of people who enjoy like some of these like you know tier four decks or whatever, and the the gap between like the the decks that can hang with um, Delver and Initiative, there's like five or so, right? And I just think there's going to be a Grand Canyon gap between the best you know five or seven decks or whatever it is, uh, and everything else. Um, so in addition to the gameplay, there, there's that, right? Like, whether that's good, like, that is good depending on your viewpoint or bad. Uh, but the I think gameplay, I, th I think most people will agree the gameplay is kind of bad, right? Like... Um, I think the... I don't know. I think, obviously, like, White Plume uh, Adventure is, like, really strong. Uh, I'm, I mean, really, like... It's like that meme, right? Where, like, you're looking at the wrong thing. I think, like, Ancient Tomb is, like, incredibly broken, for what it's worth. Um, having played it a lot in EDH. Uh, obviously, I think I'm probably in the minority on that, but I, I, I think that's part of the problem, really. And potential for it to be future problems in the, in the, going forward, but that's, like, a different topic. Uh, I, I do think 3-mana initiative is, like, pretty egregious with a Soul Lance, and maybe they can just do it anyways. Uh, da, 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 da. what am I doing? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I streamed this matchup a few times now, um, and like none of the games are close. Like either I win or they win, and it's like pretty lopsided either way. Uh, even in private, like th while that's not a hundred percent true of the time, it's like true like eighty to ninety percent of the time, I think. Uh, we have the progenitus in hand. We don't have the snuff out the mesmeric fiend. We okay. The whole point was to try it, so I guess we keep for science. We'll see, right? We'll keep for science. Like I'm, I used to be like you know, more focused on trying to, like, do well in leagues and whatnot. Um, especially at the time when I, I had, like, won the trophy race, right, the, the, the couple of times. Ugh. That's, like, pretty obscene. Uh, we're gonna have the once here, right? The bayou here is, like, pretty neat, though. Uh, we take the bayou, I think. In case we draw the snuff out. So, my logic there was like, if we hit the uh, basic, then we can cast it here. Unfortunately, we can't not do that now. Um, I think we're just gonna play this and like, see what happens. That's like the pro that are like turn one mind sensor that Jason got me in the league with are probably two of the scarier starts. Like it feels like I it's like I, we don't have force right we can't stop what they're doing. Ooh, all right. Um. This is like awkward. We can't play our land because of the. I've like screwed up so many times with this card because I like I'm not used to playing against it yet. I just like being the near top ish. I have a pretty good win rate and think trophy is still a concern. It is. It gets more competitive. Well, it depends, I guess. Uh, speaking from experience, I, the two times I won, one time was like very competitive. The other time, like I got up to like a hit, huge start and like then it becomes not competitive. If that makes sense. So I, I think it can go either way.
But that's just like my two cents, I guess. We need a pass here. That's actually really good. That is also a very good draw. Um, I think we're gonna do this first and see what they do. That way we can fetch in response to Mind Sensor too. So it is mind sensor. Take the other archon, I guess. And then we'll like lock the Oh shoot, I forgot. Oh my god. Alright, um that is not what I want. I guess we can hit their city. That's like a thing. Yeah, I forgot. Do we have- no, we don't. Uh, I don't think Endurance is good, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh... I like... their turn. Um, that is a possibility. I feel like... just hitting their land might be really good here. Um... Because we're gonna oof them the following turn, right? I think that's the play. It's not the end of the world, I guess. We cut them off a of land, so, sort of. They just win the race, right? Um, their their thing is kind of slow, so maybe not. It's kind of hard to say, I think. Also, uh, I think we should have done it upkeep if that was the plan. Sort of greedy. Uh, what do you mean by that, Mike? No, but we can draw into like certain things. But like, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we do lose the race. We go to seven here. All right, what are we doing here? Um, I guess visionary is the only thing that's like worth it, right? No, no, we didn't get. We did it on uh, draw step, Mike. Unless you missed that. We did, we did it on draw step. I wanted the chance for them to draw the, the card, right? Is the logic. Um, <laughs> all good. Oh, actually, maybe I'm supposed to. Actually, the once doesn't matter. I don't. It. It actually it does. I screwed up. The the unfortunately we we didn't have the removal, so we just lost, right? Wow. Okay, that's pretty lucky. Uh. I, yeah, the problem is I can't once, and I think I needed a once to find a... Well... Uh, Alright, we're just dead. Alright, um... We messed up the previous turn, but I think we're in trouble anyways. The, it's really hard to beat this turn one. Unfortunately, we did not have the snuff out. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to just mold to snuff out, but that's a different story, right? Uh, 
All right, uh, let's take a look. What was their turn one? Yeah, they did it off Lotus Petal, so... Again, I don't think we're supposed to mold the stump out. Uh, I'm just afraid of another, like, piece of a lock piece, but that's fair, Josh. Like, maybe we just need to dig for, like, an answer. The problem is the answers are not, like, being found off once upon a time, right? Like, the snuff out is... Uh, that is a, a chance to, um, it was no, slow for sure. I didn't, I just didn't really want to go to five, but maybe that I'm sub actually, did I keep seven? I think I did keep seven. Like, I kept seven for signs most, mostly because I want to see how the Mesmeric Fiend wa was going to be in this matchup too. You too, um, Matt. Appreciate the raid, by the way. Uh, if nothing else, I just wanted to test like, the Mesmeric Fiend. I, I felt like it was actually pretty good for what it's worth. What do you think, chat? How, how was the Mesmeric Fiend in, right there? It, it, it kind of felt like Thought Seize plus a dude, right? Uh, that's fair. That is fair. Uh... I think our hand was okay for what it's worth, but that's like, maybe I'm just like foolish. Uh, I think we have to put this back actually. And this is like an emergency land. Part of the reason why I kept for what it's worth was because, um, I think we just do this. Part of the reason why I kept was because I just wanted to see the Mesmeric Fiend in the matchup. So I figured it was worth it. Just like for science. I, I, I don't really care too much about League when we're win rates at the moment. Uh, two Verdants. Don't love the sight of that. Could be Reanimator. Sure. Doubt they would name either one. Yeah. Your name Glimpsonation. That's pretty funny, actually. I think they're on Knit Fit. Sure. They need a go to see her, presumably. I mean, it's gotta be, right? Like, what, what else is, like, playing two Cabal Therapies? Alright, uh, ooh, that's pretty good. MBC Gak. Why, why is it MBC? What, what are the bad cards previously? Yeah, I actually played against Gak, like, during Thanksgiving, like, I had like a little bit of downtime when I was traveling and then I just like, I ran into that twice in the same league. I don't know what's going on, but like, just accepted it for what it was. He had to snuff out a little bit awkward. Not, not the matchup for it. Um... We don't have lethal the, is the problem. Uh, the Endurance here is actually pretty fire. Actually, I can't cast it, though. Ugh. I think we play the Shepherd, then. And then we'll just pass. Uh, 
I was gonna say the so the endurance was pretty fire, and then I realized I was one mana short. It's like fair bug zenith with random stuff and get. I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh, my natural order. Wow, I don't think they knew about it too, but I could be wrong. Plague engineer. I don't. I guess like it's like good against the the traditional build. I I don't think plague engineer really is a, is a real card, but that's me. Um, it's like awkward. Four, five, six. It's like really awkward if they name Arbor, but maybe we're okay with that. We'll trade with the Strix here, because we're presuming it's going to die anyways. Maybe they just, like, take the trade, and then we can get the Shepherd online. Sure. Hmm. That's fine with me, I think. That is fine with me. Snuff out is a real big liability at the moment. They might be on, well, could be a learn, I guess. That mana base. I guess, actually, we saw Living Wish. That's the dead giveaway. That's what it is. Plague and How many Plague Engines are they running? I guess people are scared of elves. That's kind of good for us, I guess. Oh. That is close, but no cigar. All right, um, this is kind of a cool line. I should cancel. I actually messed up. I should have done something else, but it's okay. Ooh. This is the problem with the main deck snuff outs, right? Like, you, you suddenly play something that's not stock or not meta, and, and then you get stuck.
sure. Might be a naming insect here. We'll see. <laughs> I love it when engineer doesn't do anything. Sure. Probably name natural order again. Yep. They, uh, to answer Dustin's question, they definitely are not sniping. If they were, they would have hit, right? On the first try, instead of naming Glimpse of Nature, which is not even in our deck. Um, it's unfortunate that Gris is already in the yard. Um, this is like kind of awkward. We can't attack either. Uh, the only thing we can do is like deck thin, but I don't, I don't, it's not great. I don't think trading the reclaimer is worth anything right here now. Uh, no, I think. I think it's fine what we have. Like, you don't expect, you don't build a deck for like these pseudo corner cases where like the gris is gone and like, you know, we have, we have to stare down two engineers, right? I don't, I personally don't think engineer is like a real card, but that's a different story. Um, I think we hit the euro right now. Yeah, it, it I mean, they're, they're, the thing is, like, people just assume Engineer beats Elves. So that's the other thing, right? Like, so they're, like, heavy on the, oh, we're just going to ride Engineer to the end. I, it's, like, okay right at the moment, but, like, not great. At least in my opinion. I think here we just deck thin. Uh, I think we take the ooh, wasteland is like, nah. I don't. I think they have enough man. We're getting shut off white. I don't even know what white is for, but I don't think that's probably worth it. I think we'd rather just do that. Uh, we're gonna have to draw our natural order or. Uh, yeah, just I guess our natural order. It's gonna be a slog. We did lose our one removal spell already too. In the gris. Ooh, all right, sure. They, they got our artisan. Uh, the one good thing is our opponent has not really pressured us, so that is a good thing at least. Don't think we care about that. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, we're looking at these snuff outs and I like to call this the punishment for uh losing in a league, right? Then you you pair into something you're not supposed to pair into. Like I a lot of times I pair into pox after like I lose, right? Um Do we have another four yeah we do. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I, for some reason, I attract all the Pox players in the world. For some reason. Unbeknownst it to me. I would guess we're not favored here. I don't think it's over. Otherwise, I would have conceded already, I think. <laughs> okay, so they did bounce that. Sure. This deck can basically never be combo. Right, all, it, it, all of its cards are card advantage, but that doesn't line up well when, if you pair into combo. Which is actually part of the reason why I cut Visionary. Uh, pass. It's unfortunate. I think our window might be over. I definitely feel that with Pogs. It seems like going well means the next match will be... P yeah, it's like it's the punishment, right? You didn't take care of business, so you're you're going to pair it into the... Uh, the, me the Not meme deck, but like, you know, the turn one combo or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that is a thing. It's the Wasteland. Uh, I don't even think we fire it off here. Uh, maybe no force. That's the only thing I can think of, right? Maybe no force will. With, with at least three therapies. Like, the blue count is probably high enough, like, based on what I've seen. We're pretty behind, though, so maybe I'll just concede. We are pretty behind. I think I'm going to board out the Shepherds. Like, it feels to me like they don't have force. Oh, I was supposed to, uh, thin. I did draw well here, for what it's worth. Ironically enough, Another cradle, and we might like get close to stealing this game. A card I kind of want to play, but it's like not. Um. Sure. Yeah, I, I don't think they have force. That a card I want to play, but I, I think it's probably not worth it for us to build around it is um, Traverse the Uvenwald. That is a card I've been enamored with for a while, and unfortunately, we already have some graveyard dependencies, so maybe not the best idea. Like right now, we have just enough to like make people mad that they can't board, that they should not board in graveyard hit against us. I think a little bit more, they might actually do it. A little bit more, they might just actually do it. Here's the alert. Actually, we're just dead. Uh, they have a kill. I'll just concede. Um. All right. 
I think we take out the Shepherds. I, I'm not. I'm gonna call their bluff. I don't think they have force. And even if they do, like you can get the two for one, right? Uh, the Bog could be relevant. Um, we saw White, so that's probably Recruiter. Although they didn't see any of it. Uh, yeah, kind of, Kern. Hey, glad to have you in the house here. We are one and one so far. Uh, yeah, the Bog is like potentially relevant against the Earl. Um, we. Potentially could have done better that game three and maybe Mulligan, but I wanted to see how the Mesmeric Fiend played against it. I felt like it was actually pretty good. So, not not mad at that. Um, just the information, right? You just, like, know what's in their hand. Like, it felt like it was pretty good there. But maybe, yeah, it's still one off. <coughs> Mass Vandal's probably really good in this matchup. Uh, I think we want C's. And probably Mesmeric Fiend. Uh, do we want the force? Probably not. Yeah, I like C's in this matchup for sure. Uh, I think this actually we've got to board it on the snuff outs. I think given that we bought the snuff outs, that we have room now. Um, and then I guess we can keep maybe one progenitus as a way to win. Um, you know, in case they're on the mono engineer plan. Uh, I think that depends on their hand, but boy, point taken. Uh, I think this is a keep. Don't fail me. Nope. Uh, I think we just seize now, see what's up. S the K card we don't care about uh i think they can seize us and we don't really care i think we just take the alluring well they don't have land well they will with the strix and the coin or i just i guess we just take the alluring just take their combo card uh don't need to hold your breath once upon a time never fails when we have 23 lands they probably take a green sun presumably the troll play is to take hook, but I think it's kind of bad. They took the landlord. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I think we saved the, the green sun. You remember how I said Sunday went bad? Oh, oh. Alright, so don't get me wrong. It's failed me before, too, but... It typically will hit. For what it's worth, I, I do it all the time and it feels like it's correct. Uh, ooh. What do we know? Uh, what did they do? Snow covered. I feel like we seize now. Let's see what's up. Take the brainstorm. So they have trash, more or less, in their hand. I don't think we care about Decay. Hey, Joff, in a way, how's it going? You have a decent amount of lands that are fail hits for that hand, too. Uh, yeah, that's fair. It's like, I've done the math, it's like 80%-ish, roughly speaking. Play the Bayou. Coiling Oracle, sure. Revealing Coil, that's value. So, if we get Gris, they're probably gonna decay it. Is that worth it? Maybe not. Uh, there's that, I guess. Um, I think here, we're just gonna get a Visionary. Yeah, Fov is uh, looking kind of bad right now. Speaking of the other card. Speaking of the other card. Sure. 
They'd probably take the artisan. <laughs> to be fair, I think Shepard would be pretty bad right now, too, for, for what it's worth. Granted, we would have more of a board, but... I. I That's true. That is okay. They took this crater hook. It's kind of funny. I think there's one unknown. Yeah, this vandal about to kill a Strix. Uh, probably not. To be fair, we just like hold it for the allure. Actually, we have the force. What are we? What am I saying? We just want the board. I think. We, actually, what we want is to like draw out the a decay, right? Yes, I think we take that. Hmm. I think we're gonna want to just waste our mana. Like we know the decay is in their hand, right? There's no, there's really no point to play the the fiend artisan right now, when they have decay in their hand. Nice. All right. Rewarded. Rewarded. The decay in response, probably hitting the visionary, I would imagine. Maybe the vandal, but I would assume the visionary. All right. We're going to float mana here. Sure, useless card. We should not have taken the alone. See? We should not have taken it. We're gonna get in there for the beats. I think here we're gonna just try to bleed them out now. Like Okay, sure. We are just gonna try to bleed them out now. We're gonna visionary and then draw some stuff. Uh, if we get, actually, let's do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and Do it so that we can do it the same turn, right? So, bounce, untap. Let's go to one. Actually, I, I, did I screw that up? No, I did not. I have just enough. Wow, okay, that's lucky. I thought I screwed that up for a second by going too fast. Now we can do what we want to do. All right. Yeah, if you like the old school like sequencing, this is like pretty tight here, right? Like I think we Uh oh. Maybe we should have got the um we could have got Goris. I feel like we've misplayed there. Probably an engineer, but we'll see. Sure. It's entirely possible. We did get more draws for this word. Oh, even better. Even better. Uh, da -da -da -da. What am I going to do? 
I can put an Arbor into play, and then... Unfortunately, they're going to attack me, so I better not. Yeah, I better pass. Probably could have been more optimal. I think there's a chance the Grish should have been the previous turn and I did the order wrong. But we'll see if we can like make up for it, so to speak. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, that's quite annoying. Uh, I think we... Probably... Man, now we... Ugh, I don't have another visionary now. That's kind of annoying. And no more whatever either. I think we just plus then. Actually, we can't even hoof. This is like really awkward. Time to take down the Gris and G for Artisan. Uh, probably, yeah. Yep, 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 I agree. Uh, this is like annoying, but... This is a very strange game. They thought they could cheese us by taking our win conditions. Now now they're going to pay the price. Now they are going to pay the price. All right. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice. Kill the engineer. Bash with all. Uh, what am I gonna do here? I guess just find a random thing. <laughs> uh, why not, right? Four of a kind? We're talking about poker hands. This must be what it feels like to be rugged elver right, against elves. You just like, they, there's nothing on the other side. You just have a bunch of goyas. <laughs> Perish. <laughs> I miss those kind of cards, to be honest. Not not, not that I enjoy losing that, that card, but uh, the kind of narrow, but, but like has this niche in the uh, metagame. You don't really see that anymore because of cards like Prismatic Ending. All right. Um, how? I don't think Shepard would have mattered, to be honest. It feels like a liability. Uh, the Endurance, maybe. The Force of Vigor was not great there. Like, they're... Like, it's possible I don't even want it. Like... Maybe the agent is like what we really want. And maybe not the force of vigor. I feel like we just don't want to like randomly die, right? As they're doing it on the stack, well. I'm trying to think. Does it, if they have the a thing on the stack. Vandal also bad. I'm not sure I think Vandal is bad for what it's worth because with the thing on the stack, that's when you respawn, right? Like, I, I feel like... I feel like we just try not to lose to their combo and we're probably going to win. Yeah, let's try. I'm not... I'm no playing scared. No playing scared.
Like, Shepard doesn't do anything. Like, we didn't even see permission. I don't, and I don't think we care, to be honest. <laughs> Seas. Sure. To be fair, I think our opponent has not been playing, like, great. They took a land lower elves when two green suns were available, for what it's worth. Like, that does not seem right. That also does not seem right. I feel like they probably have a plague engine in your hand. They're just like... Just trying to get us, right? Like a 5 for 1, that's like not gonna happen, but that, I feel like that's the plan. Like, why else would they take that? It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, I think we save this for the Gris, and then we just, like, pass. It's probably an Engineer. I, I feel that's gotta be what they have, right? Like, why else would they take the Waterwood? They should take the Green Sun. I don't think we really care, but we sort of do. It's annoying if they have the Harpy though, but that's a different story. Any chance the stack could be moved to the left? Your opponent's land, your, uh, yeah, I could do that. Sorry about that. Um, I'll do it this way and pass. Stretch out the neck. It's gonna be real awkward. I bet you what's gonna happen is I'm gonna rotate away the bayou and then draw a black card. That is about to happen, I think. Might be just better to be honest to rotate an arbor, but. <laughs> All right, let's move this over here. Uh, I think we do it now. They haven't played a land yet. I think it's probably safe to hit the art. Like, I, I don't think I want to like... Yeah, I think this is probably safe in case they have like another engineer or something. Or we, in case we draw a black card, right? Obviously, if we did it the other way, we could just like double block, but that's a different story. Yeah, see, that, that's what I was afraid of, right? They're going to, like, bounce their engineer and try to, like, hit our thing. I think we live with that. Uh, ooh, that's uh, quite a good top deck. The problem is we tap out. Actually, let's do it this way. Okay, I think I'm gonna tap out here. We do know that they have decay, so that's a thing.
if they have it, they have it. Like, I think we, we need the tempo here. Yeah, that's that's the good thing. One of the good things for sure. Definitely one of the bad things about L is that you just lose. Sometimes we'll lose to this like unplayable deck that you've never seen because you don't have force, and they happen to have two card Monty, and it, it you know worked out. They're gonna bounce their Strix, presumably. It's like they're doing Wirewood, right? And Visionary. Nice. Alright, I... think I want to do it this way. Oh shoot, I messed up. <sighs> I forgot the thing is there. God dang it. I'm supposed to get the Gris and I just like forgot for a second the engineer is there. That's a bad mistake by me. It's okay. Are you kidding me that they're playing that card? That's kind of ridiculous, but I did they draw a card? No, they didn't. That's fine. Um, that was a possibility. Yeah, we could just set up a dork, I guess, for the next turn. I said Dork doesn't work. Again, okay, Engineer is out. What am I doing? Uh, sure. I think we have to... Yeah. For... Just in case, I think. Like, literally, it, it didn't really do anything, right? But maybe we're dead here. We I screwed up. I sh I was supposed to get Gris, and that's like game losing what I did. Well, I forget about it because it's, it's not doing anything. But yes, it is like a little bit under my skin at the moment. Maybe they're gonna seize me here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad I played the thing then. They took the force of vigor. A land here wins it. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Although, to be fair, they, well. Ugh, we could have got our Gris. Now we're, now we're kind of punished. Now we're kind of punished. Now we're kind of punished. Now <laughs> Low key, Mass Vandal would be pretty good right here. Low key. Ugh. Punish, punish, punish. I am punished here. Uh, GSZ is one short, unfortunately. But bingo. Bingo. This is kind of hot, not going to lie. Uh, 
Right, I do have to play a little bit faster. We're gonna like nuke their army now. We're gonna shut off their draw. Yeah, how, how do you like that? Uh... Alright, we have a kill next turn. We just have to pass. That is gas for sure. Alright, are they just dead now? What do they have? Okay, uh, yeah. one last draw. This is why I'm playing Vando over uh, some other cards, right? Like, this is still a thing. Sure. Sure. So, what are they gonna do here? That should be game. <laughs> All right, uh, we got there. This is why we're playing the Maz Vandal, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, but that was all fun and games. Actually, I'll be right back. And then, um, what's it called? We'll, we'll resume. Here's the list again. Maz Vandal won us a game right now. <laughs> against TEG, that's pretty funny. All right, my hair, I have a, obviously, beanie hair, but that's okay. 
No, actually, it's, we want them to continue to play Engineer, right? Like, we saw that playing Engineer just didn't really do anything. This is what I mean by I don't think playing Engineer is like a real card. I just, like, did not care. Like, our deck is pretty... I guess that's one way potentially the traditional build can help us because that build is pretty susceptible to Engineer. If people do play Engineer, I think it's good for us because I don't think we really care. Like, we, I just want through it pretty easily. You know, it's kind of like Reanimator, right? We, we just play enough hate where they think they can beat us, but then we, but we don't want them to quit like 8-cast players quit, right? I was actually going to tweet out, like, dear Reanimator players, what can we do to make the metagame better for you? That is a deck that elves, besides 8-cast, I guess, really wants in the metagame. That is a that is a deck that Els wants in the Benny game because I think you're pretty favored, and at the same time, um, not as favored as eight cast, but like I think you're still relatively favored. But they actually keep out a lot of the bad decks or that you don't really want to face, and they require specific hate that doesn't really hurt you. So. A deck that I don't really want to do well is like D and T because it's like weak against it like incentivizes the, the turn one decks. Uh I think we just want to just ramp, right? Like D and T kind of incentivize the, the, the epic storm and like the epic gamble. I'd rather not play against those decks and D and T kind of like is not is a little weak to those decks. Whereas Reanimator, I think like Graveyard, we don't care about. I think Acast is like, we don't care about. Sure. It's kind of annoying. The good thing is now we can get like real practice, so to speak, against this deck. Uh, that's the wrong name, homie. That is the wrong name. Agent. Um, I think here... We probably want to play the fetch now. <laughs> I think we want to play the fetch now and then like do that unfortunately we didn't draw them they'd be like lights out but it is what it is it we drew probably the worst card in our deck right now for this matchup agent We can take like a few hits from that thing. Just have to draw our natural order. This is like annoying, but uh, sure. Do you think Reclaimer Glint's build would be would be good in this match? I think it would be arguably the best of the three variants. I just don't. I think that's just a worse deck than ours, but a better deck than the the, the traditional build. For what it's worth. What is going on here? Uh, sure. Well, that's a thing. Nice. Also nice. Uh, alright. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we just pass. We can take, um, well, it could be a lot here. We'll see. Hmm. 
You got to be kidding me. Sure. That's like one of the worst things we wanted to see. Uh, interesting. I think... Interesting. Uh, maybe we just get the wasteland to scare them. Oh, shoot. I messed up. Oh, my God. I messed up. I'm so... Well, it's kind of the same, but not really. I would have had an opposition agent that can attack. My god, I messed up. Alright. I, I like tunnel vision. I messed up. Uh, yeah, that's bad. I, I'm supposed to have an agent that can attack. Now I, I screwed that up, right? Like, I'm like short on attacker now as a result. Hey, uh, Curtis, how's it going? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, oops, that doesn't even work. I think we won still, but I, don't, I didn't count. I like did not play optimally, but maybe we still won. 12, 29, 21 damage, minus eight. You're, I'm one short, okay. Yeah, we do take the Monarch. And they can't use the Ancient Tomb anymore. Uh, my fault. We win this game if I, like, cast the agent. Like, that's just... Oh, my God. My fault. Yeah, we, we win this game if I... Didn't, like, brain fart there. Like, if I cast the agent instead, I, like, got cute and then, like, didn't count my mana. And I didn't realize I didn't have another... Like, I'm one attacker short suddenly because I screwed up. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. I think we don't want the artisan. They don't do anything. Uh, hey, cooldown, Max. I mean, did you see what happened? We, like, punted the game, to be fair. Like. Mm, I think we gotta mold this. It's got the best card, but, like, nothing else, right? Like, I, I win that game... 
if I just didn't like brain fart there. But that's, you know, my fault. It's all right. We, we want better testing, right? We'll look on the bright side. Pre, my own, my own mistake. Uh. All right, our opponent doesn't know the matchup. They should not keep that in. Doesn't do anything against us. <sighs> Yikes. Possible to make it more realistic, we should, we should throw game one, right? Which can't happen if you don't know what your opponent is on. That was uh, my fault. Uh, sure. I don't think that really does anything on this board state. In case they have Mind Bird Trap, you never know. Oh, Alright, we have like the nuts. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I bet you we're gonna lose game three though, as punishment for our uh, misplay. Our opponent's throwing game two, like big time. Big time. Uh, probably. Unfortunately, I screwed that up. Solitude? Sure. Uh, yep, nothing we can do about that. Snow got pretty broken this matchup. I, I'm not gonna lie. Sure. Another solitude? Oh my god. Yikes. I did not expect that. Did not expect that. Well, that kind of helps. We'll do it now, uh, Proggy Boy. Yeah, it was winnable anyways, to be fair. Proggy Boy. Now it's just over here. Yeah. All right, uh, let's try to salvage the otherwise punt here. Uh, how do I like Force of Vigor in this? I don't even know if I love it, to be honest. It's kind of sketch. We'll try it. We will try it. Um, I mean, I get to board out, um, to be fair, I get to board out Artisan, which is kind of what I want. We have the best card in the deck right now, so. Sure. Do nothing, turn one. That's actually, actually it's kind of funny. Uh, ooh. I think we have to take the land. Well, ooh. Oh my god. Do we want to snuff out? 
probably. Yeah, I think I think we have to turn on this. No, that's hella greedy. No, Kern. <laughs> we would draw the land. Oh, that's hella greedy. I think. And we have a vandal too, to be honest. So we can just like. I guess we can. Oh my god, I think it's hella greedy. Yeah, I think the line here is you play the dork and then you let it get countered and then you play the mass vandal. <laughs> you throw hands. Alright, they lost their lands, so that's good. Sure. I think the play here is to snub out before they can just like um before they can do anything, right? The what I forgot what that thing is called, the the spirit realm or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. So good thing Jason's I forgot what's called. I've been blown out by that card like Sure. Uh, I think here we are probably incentivized to go wide. So dork for sure, and I think we just like yolo it. They have trap, which doesn't affect us yet hopefully they just don't have anything here and then uh, that would be great yes yes we're almost guaranteed to connect here i think everybody needs to go in sure everyone get in here if you guys have played Patron War in Hearthstone. Alright, now. Might be over. Our opponent has to do something now. Might be over. Oh, there's a hope. Shoot. Maybe spoke too soon. What do they do? Spellbinder, sure. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think the line here is to grist them, but oh, that's even better. That's even better. Even better. All right, they can't get both, so let's do that. The question here is, what am I getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? A... The scry? Yeah, I think a scry is, well actually, no. I'm supposed to, oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. That that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I realized immediately afterwards. Whatever. Uh bottom bottom doesn't matter. I, I, I that 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 one's on me. That one is on me.
Ooh. We can mesmeric fiend them, but I don't think that's what we want, right? Maybe the line here is to mesmeric fiend, actually. Like, I'm a little bit nervous, like, what they could have. Collector Oof is, like, okay here, too. Yeah, this is probably safe, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like we just lose this card, right? Like, the, the Dungeoneer. Isn't Gris just a K? Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe I'm just like misplaying here. I'm like reading chat and whatever. Uh, stash, I think. Well, this is actually good now. We, we don't have an issue. I think that was good. Dungeon to Throne to Monk Us. They take the hook, all right. Sure. What am I doing in this case? Um, you have two cards in hand. And they're one away from the throne, which we probably lose. Uh, we boarded out the endurance. <sighs> this is tough. Um, what do we want to do here? Like, they're going to connect, unfortunately. And then they're going to, like, look for something crazy. I think, like, Visionary, maybe just get, try to get a snuff out. That has text, but unfortunately, probably not it. Uh, we can... Oh, we're short. Shoot. And uh, probably trade, right? If they get it, then that's fine. What do we want here? Probably the Reclaimer. And just play our land and go. So they hit the dungeon here. That's bad. What's Wirewood gonna do here?
sure. I think we threw this game. We probably sh maybe we should just got the Gris, like like mentioned. Like, what are we afraid of, right? Um, top deck cradle. We did not do that, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're short. They have protection. We can dig a bit with Symbiote, right? Uh, like really one draw. Four, seven, eight, nine. Uh, there's a symbiote. One draw at Snuff Out. Yeah, we had the one. Unfortunately, well, actually, we screwed up. We should have maybe fetched, go to three, and then, well, actually, no, we, we screwed up. I, I threw this game. I'm ugh, this is so aggravating. I think we're supposed. Oh, but you have we have the Gris. Uh, we can't stop the protection. Is the problem? So yeah, we just lost. I we definitely threw this. Like we should have got the Gris, in my opinion. Like instead of the Mesmeric Fiend. Concede. Yeah, that was a throw on my behalf. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, I actually think endurance is bad. I'm like, I'm not of the type to bring in the endurance. It's like zero or four for me a lot of times. Like, I'm not really the, like maybe against um, what is it called? Maybe against uh, like depths. I have the one endurance to like, chump block for a turn. But like, I I don't really like that kind of um. Boarding, so to speak. Not not really a fan. It's like really bad sometimes. All right, the blind, uh, the good old I'm gonna force whatever you do play. No, I think if I just got the Gris, I'd probably win the game. I just like overthought it, right? Like with the the Mesmeric Fiend. 10 flyers post board. Um, I guess there's two mind sensor and what? Like maybe two elite binder. That's four. What am I missing? There is a good chance here. 
we just kill them if we wasteland them here. Uh, feels like that's the correct play. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to waste them first. If they want to bounce that, they can. Actually, cancel. No, it's on me. Like, I should have won that game. Um, just not paying attention. We're playing against Mitchell here. I, I, he's on his alt. Um, move. Yeah, it is the whale. It is the whale. I think he likes it because it's like more, like lower to the ground. Uh, what do we do here? Do I, I feel like endurance is not gonna get the job done, right? Yeah, let's do that. See what happens. I actually should have played the Bayou. That was a mistake. I think we're going to go 2 3 here. Probably bring it out the swords, yeah. That's why I didn't play the endurance, right? <laughs> I feel like I played against that recently too. I could be wrong. But I hope this trades, but probably not. Yeah, unfortunately, probably not. I'm just mad at myself for misplaying earlier. I, th I think we win easily if we get the Gris. I just, like, overthought it with the, um, with the Mesmeric Fiend. Not playing sharp right now. We draw a natural order, we win, though. So there, there is that out. Nope, not gonna happen. All right. Uh, I forget they have Stone Fortune Mystic. They may or may not. I don't remember. But I'm just gonna board this way just in case they don't. Has Flood been a problem at 23 lands? Um, not really because the 23rd land is the wasteland. So like in a pinch, you just fire it off and hit their land. Uh, but good question. Good question. I'd rather have more lands than not. I think we keep. All right, next league we will try to play sharper. I 
probably should have not lost either of my matches. But the, to be fair, the first match, um, we did, we we kept that hand for Salians with the Mesmeric Dean. This one, I think we will lose. I don't love this matchup. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, do we go with the cheese play here is the question. I think we do. They can't daze it. It has to be forced, right? Uh, I think in this situation, correct, cheese achieved. Uh, we'll just pass, I guess. They could technically have days, but I think they would have pitched the, the days just in case, yeah. A ch cheese achieved, right? Th th that's why I play the one wasteland to punish the greedy keeps. That is why I play the one wasteland to punish the greedy keeps. Yeah, and also, like, at 22, like, sometimes I felt like I was missing a land, so it's, like, the compromise I wanted, right, as a 23rd land. Also, like, there's been times where, like, I just see my opponent stumbling. I just, like, reclaim her for Wasteland, just, like, end the game, right? Ah, no more greedy keeps from our opponent. <laughs> uh, I don't think we do it yet. They didn't shuffle, so I think we once first and see what they do. Uh, I think we take the land and then we ramp. Exactly, answer key gaming. Exactly. Sure. I think we just do that. I was about to ask if we could ramp in a way that's immune to ending. Uh, good question. I feel like I like to save my green suns for, um, what is it called? I like to, in general, save my green suns, uh, could be a whale coming down, for whatever I want, right? Like, I typically don't, like, this has diminishing returns. I don't, I don't really want to, um, the flexibility of green suns is way too hard. Yeah, that's, the I guess, what I'm getting at. But, good question. The only time I where I've like not done a play like that is if I feel like they're gonna have they're gonna cage me like randomly. Then, then maybe. I think here I'm gonna pass. No, I don't think so. Or like, what am I afraid of? I, I don't like to wasteland when I'm behind. So that's the other thing, right? Like, I don't, I don't care about EI. Like... I've actually found out, like, the way the deck is built now. Uh, granted, this is a little bit different because it's Jeskai. 
But the games where they cast AI, they tend to lose now because they're not like focusing on the board. Like the the dynamic, the Delver dynamic has like really changed. Like the games where they EI, they, I've, I found myself winning most of those games now. Like I resolved a Wheel of Sun and Moon the other day and they cast like five EIs and I just, and I just didn't care because the whole deck like is turned off, right? I think we are pretty ahead here. They, they, yeah, and we're gonna like pull even further ahead potentially. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic, sure. Caldra, all right. Um, all right, what do we do here? This gets us to four. I don't think I want to lose the days randomly. I'm gonna grist them for sure, but I don't think I want to randomly do lose to days. Uh, I don't think Wasteland also does anything here. Uh, I think I'll just do this. Uh, I think I'll pass. I'll attack, I guess. I would assume they would get Caldra on this board with GTA rolled up. If they force Waste Means to land it, sure. So we know the last card is Caldra, so I think we're fine. Uh, I'm just gonna bash with all now, cause I know the artisan's looming. That's a pretty good. Uh... We don't wanna just like randomly lose the whale. And then we just start a bash. I think it's over. Yeah, possibly no GTA, right? Alright, we got there. Alright, we got the 3 2 pity chest. Um, maybe we should thank the gods, right? Like, for the pity chest. Uh, sucks to lose here, but it's practice. It is what it is. Um, definitely need to clean up the play in the second game there. Uh, the first one I can chalk that up to. We just wanted to see what the Mesmeric Fiend did. Uh, felt like it was okay. Uh, but if you differed, I would love to hear your re reasoning. Or if you agreed, I would love to hear your reasoning. If the Mesmeric Fiend is worth bringing in. Obviously, it's not for that matchup. It's really for the combo matchups. Uh, where I want Artisan to do something, right? Like... Sne sneak and show comes to mind. Thank you. Uh, good night as well, Defna Oz. So the list felt okay. Like I, the Vando actually won the game, right? So I think it's probably worth it. Uh, Wasteland also won a game, so kind of justified that being the deck. Uh, what else am I saying? I think we just run it back. Uh, no, not, not so much that answer, Key Gaming. I'm talking about uh, boarding it in. Like, it feels like it's correct to board in, but I could be wrong. 
the the term where I I uh, I fetched it with um, artisan is definitely it should be Chris. That was a misplay, in my opinion. But I kind of tunnel vision into not wanting to give the initiative back. But I think I, I think I probably should win there. Like that's just not playing correctly, in my opinion. I think it's bad when they go hellbent so fast. Who who is the they in this case? I'm I'm assuming they is the uh, the initiative player. This is fun. Yeah, I can see why you say that. I definitely can see why you say that. The awkward part about playing the snuff out main is like. I have to debate whether I want to, uh, I think I, am I, how greedy do we want to be here? I think, I think we just play it safe. We just hit land drops, right? I think the inclusion in this list makes sense, but I don't think it's a great card to side in. So, do you think it's correct not to side in the Mesmeric Fiend, Jason? I, I definitely think it's worth it. Like, I've won games against combo because I just, like, untap with an artisan, right? It's just like, okay, I'm going to stick this into in addition to the Collector Oof or, or the Opposition Agent. I think if it was discard, probably not. But the fact that it affects the board, I think I kind of like it. it. looks like it's uh, Naya... Um, initiative so kind of regretting taking the land here and not you know fetching swamp but that's the risk you take right sometimes Like you can't really afford to cast it on turn two in this game, and they'll be effectively held on their turn two. Uh, yeah, I, I can see that. Maybe not then. I I just thought it's like almost strict, like a two for one in most cases, right? You just take the removal, because the way the trigger works is is like awkward for the opponent. But yeah, that's fair about like you know discard of course being bad against these hellbent decks. My thinking was it's almost automatically going to be a two for one in most cases. Do we get a free? They've got to have it, right? One, two, three, four. Maybe not. If you take a removal spell, it can't. Re yeah, but the creature on board is relevant. But our opponent. Okay, they have to do the desperation uh, solitude here, right? So the next one is trap. That's a lot of damage. Actually, they took the other route. Kind of interestingly enough. Interesting. All right, they get it untapped too with a adventure. The second or the first shriek maw. Shriek maw is interesting. Why do you say that? Um, all right, they're, they're down to one card. We don't have lethal here, but we can get it next turn. I think we do that. Right, that, that circumvents them, you know, doing the arena, right? 
Interesting. Okay, that I mean, I trust Adriano for sure, and I do trust Jason. Uh, for somebody who ha- doesn't really play L's, I think I do trust Jason as well. Adri- Adriano, I trust a lot. Uh, yeah, Force of Vigor kind of trash, right? Like, it's like high variance in this matchup. Like, it either cheeses it or win or does nothing. I don't love Force of Vigor too. That's, that's like fine for me to cut. Uh, I, I did think the. I think the first Vandal does add a different dimension to the deck, right? We saw, like, just kind of... Thank you for the follow, Thirsty, thirsty Brev. Kind of taking over the game, so to speak, right? Sure. Six. Sure. No blocks. What is this? 4-1. Uh, All right. I don't think we care. We're, we're going to either finish the game here or we're not, in my opinion. Kind of... Crazy that they played that. It feels like it's got to be a solitude, right? Like, what else could it be? The only thing about adding... Uh, a little bit, yeah, but I'm not like... I mean, the double match is so good, maybe I don't want to like mess that up. Then I have to cut the Wasteland, right? That means now or never, right? It's like... I think it's lethal. I mean, I never count, but it's no better line. All right. They had it off the trigger. Oh, that's fair, Jason. That is fair. Although still, right? I feel like maybe you hold it for the attack, but I don't know. Never know. Uh, we'll see how this goes again. Um, yeah, so the idea about this is... It's like a two-for-one, but it's, it kind of isn't at the same time, right? So maybe not. Case Adventure exiles it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I see what you're saying. It, it, you're talking about off the... Uh, okay, I didn't realize it was that. I thought they had it already, but not again, not paying attention. Uh, the Vandal's probably fine. I think we're going to cut the... I don't like the Endurance, like I said. I think we're not going to play for like fluke scenarios. Uh, let's cut the Bog. I think we want the ma that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I figured out what you meant just now, Jason. That, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so the question here is like, do we want the fiend? Is it better than an artisan? Maybe not. Like it's a sort of a two for one because you take the removal in, in a lot of cases, but then it can't bash, right? Uh, is the one mana, is the one one worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Like it's hard to say. Uh, we'll try without. Uh, it's like a little bit dangerous, right? Like, how aggressively do we want to mow here? Um, we have we're like a mow to six, but natural order is like maybe the second best card in the deck, behind snuff out. I think we'll just keep for signs. The problem with elves is, uh, or at least this deck is, and elves as well. You you can't really aggressively mulligan, right? Because you're a critical mass deck. Which is why I like think we're at a big disadvantage when both players know what the other one's on because I can't really aggressively mow, but they can. Sure. Turn one dungeon, yeah, that's fine.
Their hand potentially loses the snuff out, but like, I don't think we can just mold a snuff out. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, that makes sense. For sure on the play. It's possible now that uh, we get rewarded for keeping this hand. But we can't, we've got to stop drawing lands, though. We're, like, virtually down a card to start with, and then now we're kind of down a couple of cards. Interesting that they went that way, though. So they're going through the dungeon pretty quickly. Yeah, probably. Maybe we, yeah, we just cannot keep this kind of hand, right? Like, maybe we just have to mold the stuff out. But I, I feel like that feels wrong to me. Or or force a vigor, right? But again, we would have lost the Moss Diamond here. Hmm. <laughs> uh, why is that weird? What were we doing differently here? Like we kill the dungeoneer here, but we they still get the throne. Unfortunately, I think it's plus here to be honest. That they didn't play chaos. And oh, for Prague, I don't think. I don't think Prague is gonna get there on in this on this board for what it's worth. Oh my God, that's not the card I want to mill. Oh my god. Yeah, it could be Mind Sensor. Looks like it's not. It feels like a solitude, to be honest, to be. We're probably just dead, to be honest. I mean, maybe we just need to have snuff out, but it's hard to say. Yeah, that is one of my one of my frustrations playing against a lot of these Stompy decks. Not not just initiative, like against Moon Stompy, against like some of these other shells. Like it feels like my decisions don't matter. What did they get? They, they got another plume. Okay, sure, I guess. <laughs> Green. Uh, we went 3-2 in our first league. Um, we lost two initiative twice. The first time was us trying to see if we wanted the Mesmeric Fiend uh, to be boarded in. We, we like, kept it in our hand. The second time, I like didn't think and just like punted the, oh, a wand game. We did beat Jeskai Delver, uh, which was pretty cool. We got to wasteland somebody out of the game. Same same player, actually. Sure. Yeah. 
Actually, we're just dead because the hoof is in the yard. That's kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. I, I'm trying. I don't think we have an out now, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I'll just concede. It's, well, like, I just don't see how we're gonna get 16 damage with a hoof in the yard. So I'll just concede. That is not good. All right. Um. How do we feel about that? Did we like the mis not having the mesmeric? Like, would it have been good there or no? I am trying to think here. So the other thing is that you play Archon of Ameria, that makes you better against um, the, the Glimpse version of the deck too, for what it's worth. Yeah, we can try it on the play, see how we like it. Uh, I guess that's what, that's what this stream is for anyway. It's like for science. Is it time to undermount or is that not the axis? Uh, that is definitely not the axis. That's like a million mana. Uh, it has, but I personally suspect it's the Mirage. Like, I, I think it benefits from the fact that nobody's playing sweepers right now. And the fact that there's no combo. Like how often is, this might be the only meta where that's happened, right? Uh, do we want to keep this or not? Yeah, I for sure, uh, Adrian. I just don't know what to play. Like, Death Mark is obviously a thing. I could play that or, like, Fatal Push, but I, I don't really love Fatal Push. This feels like a mole to me, right? Like, you have two blanks. All right, this is a lot better. Mm, let me put that away. Yeah, that's fair. Oops. Yeah, I can just cut the force of your. I don't really even love that card. What am I trying to find out here? Uh, probably the collector oof. That actually does things. Yeah, they're bad against Chalice, but I, I feel like I'm gonna outplay the people who keep in Chalice, uh, Adriana, for what's worth. Like, there is a part of me that thinks I will s outplay the, that subset of group. It is, but man, it, it, there is so much life loss already. Uh, actually, I think we just. What are we doing here? Are we gonna just gonna try to cheese them? I think so. Like, potentially we just shut off their pedal, right, or whatever. I'm going deep with the death mark there, but yes, there is. It smells like mind sensor. I'll play this out and then see what they do. You can go for the outplay, but a major time, isn't it worth not relying on to outplay it? I mean, but also I'm going to assume my opponent is going to play correctly most of the time too, for what it's worth. Uh, I think I'm just going to bash. That's kind of free. I should have actually sequenced it differently. Oh, that's annoying, actually. Uh, that is fair, Jason. Um... I, I sequenced it poorly there. What I should have done was attack first and then like Gris afterwards. Like, th so they don't have information. 
To be fair, I can kill the mines. Uh, the, the whole plan was to kill mine sensor the following turn, but yeah, that's fair. I think we're pretty ahead though. Like they have no board, no pressure at all. And we have a Gris on the board that's like pretty good. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna huff. I could get progenitus, but there's no need, right? <laughs> hey, Tony. I was just talking. We were talking about you much early in the stream. How uh, I've just conceded the TEG matchup now, right? Tony's probably the person I lose to the most in leagues. Uh, I, I can never build, uh, not build, I can never beat whatever he's on. I'm playing against Chase. Uh, pretty good hand, actually. We did not. Oh, reanimator? I don't expect Badlands turn one from Chase, but maybe it is Reanimator. Even if it is, I'm not leaning with Reclaimer because if it is Reanimator, I'm assuming they're gonna have turn two Reanimation spell. No more Noxious Revival because uh, I wanted the uh, Wheel of Sun and Moon to come in against Delver, right? It's like pretty insane, actually. Uh, like my record against Delver lately has just been out of this world. There's no need to waste the snuff out. I'm not snuff out, but we... Uh. All right, that's kind of annoying. Uh, do do. What do I want to do? Actually, cancel. I could go. No, I think I need to play this right now. And see what Chase does. I have not given up on the Rams. Uh, I've given up on this season, though. For whatever that's worth. I don't have another one. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, what do we want here? I feel like a visionary. I'll just pass. Kind of flooding out. I should maybe I should have held the reclaimer. I mean the green sun, not get reclaimer, because I had both halves of the green sun. I 
think I'm gonna waste. Yeah, Wasteland, probably big game right there. Maybe not, I guess not. Uh, I hit the blue source. Unless I'm missing something, uh, an answer key gaming. I'm like flooding out and kind of regret getting the reclaimer now. That's actually pretty good. Uh, actually, I have a idea. Dang, he had, he had three lands. That's kind of insane. I was just like going for the cheese win there. Uh, do I have another force? I do not. So I'm going to thin out this for the another cradle. Yeah, he, Jace is one somebody who does respect his mana. Uh, there. Uh, probably not. Does Chase have the removal spell for the artisan now? Wait a minute. Is that the third one? Uh, okay. That's kind of annoying. We gotta be careful though. We know they have he has a Basaju in there, and that's kind of annoying. We have the one left. That works. All that all that deck thinning coming in handy there. Luckily, match the Fade drawing the snuff outs too, which would have been awful. Uh, I think here we want Endurances on the mid-range plan. Uh, there is a chance we want the Mismeric Fiend, but probably not. Yeah, for sure. Better lucky than good there. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want an Agent? Like, I feel like he has not that many fetches, right? Like, maybe the Mismeric Fiend is better. So creature takes their like fury or whatnot. Let's try it. Uh, we got to do it, but he, he has, uh, it felt like he had a million lands, so it didn't seem like the, a great plan. I, I was trying to cheese wins there, but like, it didn't work out. The, the main game plan in this 
matchup is just like stick up your handers. Yeah, sinkhole with upside. Although Chase may play around it now that he knows about it, for what it's worth. Well, the upside is you hit their fetches, is, is I think what Jason's talking about. I think that that is what Jason's talking about. What is the likelihood Jason has force here? Uh, black and red. Uh, it doesn't, so part of the problem with Baseju is it, it doesn't help snuff out. Sure. That is true. I do respect Chase. Chase uh, can make this matchup pretty close, which it usually isn't when I play against against uh, other people on his deck. Um, I think here we're gonna force check Chase, right? Like we're gonna take down the DAC, take down the mints. And then um, check if he has force. Sure. Pretty good, but I think we should be in an okay spot. I don't think he plays edicts, but just in case. And we'll know right now if he has it or not. The out. Like, it's going to be a concession or it's not, yeah. Alright, uh, 2-0. Oh, pretty good start. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Uh, here's the deck list again.
All right, I am back. So something Adriano talked about earlier was um, oops. Something Adriano was talking about earlier was using the force of vigor slots, which from the L perspective, like you don't really need help against eight cast. Um, it's like okay against lands, which isn't isn't really well positioned at the moment, in my opinion. Um, for dedicated hate against uh, initiative, because the Delver matchup is like pretty good, right? Like I could play a, like a Shriek Maw or something, but like, um, th if I want like dedicated dedicated hate, like I think White is the answer because of the strict proctors. Uh, this is like tech that Kern used uh, in the showcase qualifier. He ended up not drawing it, but it's pretty good because it stops touch the spirit realm as well. Um, which otherwise hits your hush bringers, right? But I like want to refrain from splashing colors if I can because um, like the upside obviously is a creature. Like it hits like Doss's Oracle's decks, but uh, I I really value mana base and I, I would rather if possible like win the initiative matchup without having to do kind of what I consider kind of extreme things. But maybe that's like a streak mall, right? Like that was mentioned. Um, maybe that's like what we want to do. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, it wouldn't be a Newton stream if I didn't pair into Tony, right? Like we're gonna take our our loss here and move on. Oh my god. Uh, that's not gonna cut it either. All good, Tony. All good. Um, actually, Tony doesn't have mod. Tony should have mod. All right. Uh, not gonna cut it. I was 3 0 and then hit Tony and you for the sweet two finish. Sorry, Chase. Yeah, I was just actually mentioning, like, when I play against some of your, uh, some of the other people who play your deck, like, it, it feels pretty favorable for me, but I definitely think you're significantly better than most of the people, um, what's it called? Most of the people who, uh, who pick up your deck. I think we're gonna probably lose, but we might as well just keep and just, like, oh, actually, this doesn't even do anything. Uh, we're already at five i don't think we can just like go lower so we'll just keep uh let's do that the crown what is it? uh prime gaming well, i don't know what that means per se actually we have a turn two collective but there is a decent chance we're gonna get turn one here there is a decent chance we just die All right, I think we're headed for that. Try one Maw and one of the black one mana removal. Which one are you talking about, uh, Adriano? I don't love Fatal Push for, for what it's worth, but maybe that's okay. Unless you're talking about like, I forgot the other card. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is one that I, ha I thought was kind of cool. I forgot what's called, where you discard a card. Oh, you're talking about Death Mark? Yeah, that's fair. Death Mark is a little bit narrow, but maybe it's okay. It does kill Artisan in the mirror, which is like pretty neat. We're, all right, we're getting turn one. Yeah, Bone Shards is the other one I was thinking about, but ex extra points and you can pitch the Progenitus. Because I'm thinking the card disadvantage doesn't really matter. Are you still both streaming and playing paper a lot these days? Uh, who's the both here? Oh, you're talking about doing both things. Uh, no, I haven't been playing paper much. It's like EDH, if anything. All right, we're just dead.
This matchup is very rough. Very, very rough. Like, the problem is, uh, like, Endurance is good, but, it, like, the way typ typically Tony builds his decks, they're, like, not weak to Graveyard Hate, which makes this matchup really bad as a result. Uh, Wheel is... Actually, I don't think I saw Echo. I wouldn't play Bone Shards before the other option. It's good if you have Graveyard Synergy, but not... Yeah, that's what my EDX friend was telling me, too, um... Uh, his name is John. He goes to my uh, store, but like he said the same thing. He said he probably wouldn't play because of the card disadvantage. But fair point. Um, I don't think we want Bog. Uh, what do we want to do here? I feel like Tony probably... Yeah, that is fair. The, the problem is Fatal Push is not entirely free, right? That That's kind of why... Like, I don't love Fatal Push. Not to mention, it, it's not a card I really like against Delver, too, for what it's worth. Because it, the, it doesn't pair well with Snuff Out. Because when one is limited and the other one is not, then it doesn't really work. What you want is they are both can hit anything or they both are very limited. So, for instance, Fatal Push pairs really well with um, Run Afoul. Because you push their Delver or their DRC and then the Run Afoul hits their uh, Murktide. The... If you do it the other way, it doesn't really work because they're just going to let the Fatal Push go and then you snuff out their Murktide and then they foul it, right? Like, that, that's the reason why you have to do it. They either have to hit everything or they both have to be restricted, if that makes sense. Uh, what do we... Okay, we're going to die here to uh, Tony. Do we want Wheel of Sun and Moon? I feel like probably not. Um, endure... Actually, maybe the Vandal is, like, worth it. Yeah, for sure, uh, Mitchell. Uh, no, no, no. Do we want wheels, sun, and moon? I feel like we don't, but I could be wrong. Actually, bog is like pretty free. I should probably keep that in. I don't. I'm not exactly familiar with uh, Tony's list. There is a chance we should just cut. To be honest, the. Uh, what is it called? The um, Mass Vandal, too. Even though it won a, a match earlier. Alright, we're going to seize here and see what's up. Uh, Talisman, it is. Okay. Like, I, I feel like the, the three enchantment removal cards are the ones I'm like least happy about in the deck. And I'm not really concerned about Merit Lager at the moment. Like, they have their own problems to solve. Sure. Oh my god. Yikes, alright. Uh, you could be right. I mean, obviously, the matchups where it's good, we don't even need it to, right? Like, DNT, 8-cast, like, we just, like, can sleepwalk through some of these decks. Uh, what is going on here? They revealed tendrils already, so, like, I think we're dead. Requirement is not free. So, Adriano, do you like the Vandal or no? It did win us a game early. I don't know if you were there for that, that alluring game. But I think it's like the most interesting because you can find it, right? You have like nine tutors or whatever for it. So, so maybe we just cut the force of vigors and keep that and just like call it a day, right? Uh, yeah, we're just... Okay, Tony does have it. No, maybe not. Oh, he does have it. I'm confused. I thought you had the kill. I'm like really confused.
<laughs> All right, he did happen. Okay. All right, what, what, what did I miss here? Oh, but you know that card you told me about run up. I had Tony try it in green post. LOL. I mean, yeah, because green post doesn't have any ways to remove uh, Murtar region, I think, right? So I'm not surprised Tony tried it. Um, because he's, I mean, unless you're playing, I, even Dismember doesn't cut it, right? Like, it's often too big. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, oh, so Tony's probably, I mean, not Tony, Tony's. It's confusing now, right? We have Tony Morata and then Tony uh, Scapone. But I think what Tony uh, Scapone slash Del Prete is uh, mentioning is his top deck off the top of the on nauseum, right? Like otherwise we would have been probably good position. <laughs> yeah, so so okay, I kind of figure out what you meant by brutal draw there, but uh, I mean I kind of expect to lose this matchup for what for what it's worth, like. Maybe this one is a little bit better than the Epic Gamble, but in general, when I see like you know Tony Scapone on the other side, I just kind of like, oh, I guess we're gonna go, hopefully four one instead of the uh, instead of five zero. Why two for okay? Um, so I guess Adriano, like since you play the deck, for those who don't know, Adriano's been killing it with the uh, the traditional build, but he plays a much better mana base I think than most with the twenty lands and the three months upon a time. Do you think we want the, um, let's call it, he competed in the Showcase Qualifier as well. Uh, he, he played Delver, but definitely was considering Elves at the time. And I think the Vandal is like, interesting enough. Thank you for the sub, Tony. Appreciate that. Big hats off to Tony for the sub. Uh, I think because of that, I'll go ahead and we'll open a chest at minimum uh, in this league. I will do that. Our opponent is zero two. That actually scares me. Four o match. Four o match. Not really. The the o two match. I'm definitely scared. Thank you, uh, Mitchell, and uh, good night to you as well. I'm assuming that was you earlier that we played against, but I I know you said that was your friend or whatever that played that account before. Uh, all right, that's a bad sign. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, oh, oh, two break. I'm like very scared normally. Like, sorry. See what they exile. I guess that's the question. Well, I, they should not play city, right? That's what they were gonna do. Uh, Shatter skull, Burgi, burning witch line. Oh, that's a pretty good relay. Yikes! That is a pretty good relay. Uh, it depends. I think in the problem is endurance has holes in it, right? The problem is endurance has holes. Uh, I guess we'll just take a land and then hope we don't die, right? Like that's pretty much all we can do. Yeah, we're still getting Scapone here. We're probably dead, to be honest. We are probably dead here. I'd imagine they're going to Burning Wish for Echo and then Wheel and unlikely to fizzle, I would assume. But we shall see. Ooh, they even had it normally. Jesus. Yep, we're probably dead. Alright, they can play the Horn. That's pretty nuts, actually. 
Horn plus um, Echo is a combo, by the way, for those who don't know. It's like a draw 14, right? The snuff out randomly could be helpful, but probably not. I prob I, I think I boarded in just in case in this matchup, but it's not great. I just don't have anything else, right? It's possible I shouldn't even board it in, to be honest. Oh, grid is, means we're off oh, F6. It is filthy. Whatever you think it is, it's probably filthier than you imagine, uh, Sagra. I think we're dead, but I mean, I can't really concede yet. I think we beat this opponent actually before. Uh, uh, actually, now we're dead. Oof. Cannot. We need to fade this kind of matchup. Like anything with Ride of Flame or. <laughs> All right, uh, I think we want wheel because of the echo. I think we want force. Uh, endurance doesn't do anything. Uh, I think snuff out is like debatable, probably. It feels kind of loose, to be honest. Uh, how much do we have left? I, I guess this kind of works. If we bo boarded in the snuff outs, the reclaimers come come out. I feel like that's probably not what we want to be doing. Actually, Vandal's pretty good. Oops, should have brought brought that in. Actually, that would have been it right there. Mullion. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say you're right, Jason. I I realized it last second. I'm like half checked out, so to speak. Uh, heart of the cards here. Did never didn't have it. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, ooh. so they have it. They have both. That's pretty insane. Dang, that is kind of nuts. Or well, I guess here we have to just take the LED, right? Because it makes the most mana. That's brutal though. Yeah, no, no, I, I for sure. I, it, it's not like I've never won this matchup. Is the problem is, it's very. Did you whiff on Once Upon a Time? What is that point? Uh, no. I, don't, I don't know why our opponent thought we whiffed on Once Upon a Time. I'm confused. I think they just confused. Uh, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. No, not at all. Like I like I kind of prefaced it already. I was like, I can't beat everything and the stuff that's required to beat this kind of deck does not line up well with the force of the for, uh the, the 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 format slash like how the deck is built. So I just kind of accept this is what we're losing to, right? Like we can beat Reanimator, we can beat Doomsday like out of the combo decks. Uh and actually it's painful for me when I lose to those decks. I consider it a failed uh event, right? If I lose to either Reanimator or Doomsday. Uh, we can even be Ant. We just cannot be like Rite of Flame type decks that essentially go off a full turn earlier without using the Graveyard. Am I playing another league after this one? Uh, great question. It is a little bit early. Um, maybe. I think... 
Yeah, if, I guess if everybody's enjoying ourselves, um, then yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just play another league. I might not, I can't guarantee I'm going to finish it for, per se, but like, I think if that's what people enjoy, then sure. Uh, sure. If you can send it here and I'll take a look. Uh, if it has the words Nettle Sentinel in it, um, that we might have to save that for Christmas, right? Like, Relic did a number on you. Uh, great question, Jason. I think it's probably worse than before. Uh, I think it's one of those things where it's hard for me to tell if I'm outplaying my opponent or or not, if that makes sense. So like the 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 game plan for a, a while for a while was just like endurance plus or shepherd plus endurance, right? Or like before shepherd plus assassin's trophy on their land, right? Or like Baseju. So, unfortunately, they're going to be able to echo here. That's going to be a problem. That's true. It's going to be red, green. Uh, what do we want to do? This is not going to work out, I think. I think they're going to echo and we're going to lose. Um, but, I mean, cannot beat everything. Right, they're gonna draw fourteen more or less here, and we do not have that. Collector Ufa is a, a turn late, so to speak. So I, I think it, yeah. So going back to the Doomsday question, I think it's probably harder than before, and there is probably a good chance I'm just like outplaying some of the newer Doomsday players who are just like learning the deck. Uh, I do feel like it's not bad though. I don't like mind that much obviously i think reanimator is like the holy grail right i think it's, everything we do lines up really well against reanimator um and that is the the, the combo deck i want to see uh, i don't really love playing against oops because not so much i don't think we have the tools to beat it the problem is leyline of sanctity is like super annoying I know Christmas is uh it's coming gone or twenty two thousand twenty two has come and gone I should say. Uh, it's like now it's gotta be my, trap bad or not right, and I feel like we just f six now right with that on the stack. I'll catch up on the chat real quick. Also depends how actually it's almost ten so maybe not another league uh Adriana I can test um. Offline though, but yeah, looking at the clock now, it's I just realized it's almost ten, so maybe not. All right, we're dead. Yeah, we were in the O2 bracket, and unfortunately, this is what happens. But I, e even though, even if we run out of time, Adriano, oh, you said on Discord. Okay, good. I will take a look at right now. So, oh my god, I think we're playing as another combo player, another Ride of Flame player. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, the one Leyla in the Void is interesting, uh, Adriana. What is the logic there? Uh, I think this would probably mull. This is not... This is kind of slow. So, it looks like the main deck is more or less kept intact, Adriano. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, and I actually really like the main deck for what it's worth at the moment. Like, obviously, you, like, give up some percentages against control. But I, I think I do like the main deck the moment with three snuff outs. Uh, I can see going to four at some point. But, like, I, I've been liking the Wasteland. 
Um, but yeah, the mapping. Okay, we have that Shriek Maw, so that changes things a little bit. One, two, three, four, five cards. What? It, so we. So the second Gris is interesting too. Uh, I'm. I'm taking it. You don't. Oh, five dorks. Here's the full 75. Uh, what did you cut? Oh, you moved the collector to the sideboard. Interesting. You can also board it in to try Cheese versus Delver. Uh, you're talking about the Leyline, or what are you talking about? Yeah, it is. I, I found it to be... Um, I know... Adriana, you're not in the Discord channel. I played against Delver five times last night. And aside from the, you know, the joke loss that I had because I was messing around with Gemstone Caverns. Uh, whatever was insane, actually. Uh, I went four and one. So, like, I beat Delver four out of the five times. And honestly, to be honest, if I played the better mana base without the Gemstone Caverns and just, like, played the normal, you know, second Baseju and Wasteland, i probably just 5-0 sweep, right? And like I said, um, actually, I'll just bring it up. It's fine. I'm not really trying to make fun of them or not, but uh, where is that image? So I had this come up last night, and this is against Kantaro uh, Hakori, right? And it's like, took over the game. And for those who know, he they're a very good player, so, but... They just cannot do anything. They have five expressive iterations. It just doesn't matter, right? Like, because all your cards are, are don't do anything when, when a, a, a wheel was out. Uh, it's worse against Doomsday for what is worth. So strong. But we could remap so that we have um, Noxious Revival again. So, so that is not, like, out of the question, I guess. Uh, this is like slow, and I don't think I think they're on combo. Uh, just in case they're not. Yeah, I'm going to take another look at Adriano's list here. It's like reasonable enough. Like, Death Mark is like definitely interesting. What happened? Why are they mulling? I mean, okay, that makes more sense. All right, now that they have the LED, we're just going to go ahead and get the Collector Oof. I think the next thing we're going to do is... Obviously, we need to draw land, right? Ideally, we go like Artisan into Visionary or Visionary into Artisan, either way. If we don't top deck a land, I think the safe play is playing the Artisan. But yeah, Death Mark is definitely interesting. Uh, I don't love, for what it's worth, um, Adriana, the second Grist against Delver because usually they have like multiple flyers, right? It's just only, really only good to, to take your care of uh, Murktai Regent. Yeah, I think we play it safe here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Doomsday is a thing too. Yeah, I can see that. I, I mean, I'm not like opposed to it. I'm just saying one of the reasons why I played Wheel of Sun and Moon is because of the Doomsday interaction, right? Like, uh, all right. Um, here, fortunately, we can't get Agent. 
Oh, I, I take that back. We can. Uh, we're not going to get cute, I think. It's more to try out initiative. That's fair. Yeah, because I think the Delver matchup does not need any help. At the, if anything, it has margin. You, obviously, you say that you're going to get like punished, right? Uh, I think here... Actually... That's fair, right? Because Maul can come in against Delver, uh, and it's like relevant against the um, whatever build, the the Shredder build. It's more to try versus initiative. Plus Agent and in snuff three endurance. That's fair. Yeah, I I don't love Leyline, but I do think we def like I say. Like, before initiative was a thing, I was, like, mentioning to my patrons that, like, elves, or at least Cradle Control and Dooms, they were getting to this arms race. Like, they were playing opposition agents, like, oh, well, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna play Noxious Revival. And then they were playing, like, Relic, right? And then we're like, okay, if you're gonna do that, then I'm gonna play XYZ as well, right? Like, it... I had, like, margin to, 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 uh, to, to get into this arms race with Doomsday. And then initiative came, and all of that was, like, became background noise almost right like i have to worry about not fixing per se the initiative matchup but making prod better than what i think it is at the moment so i do think it is not where i want it to be if that makes sense and i think it's because our mapping is a little bit off with artisan which is not a great card in the matchup um so that that is that uh i think we want c's and fiend uh, I'll bring up what Adriano um, recommended in a second after this match uh, because I am curious. We'll pour that out. I think Bog is probably. I think we're playing against the Epic Gamble for what it's worth. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I think we want Wheel and Sudden Moon in this matchup. Actually, the second Vandal is. Probably fine too. Uh, that's probably fine. Yeah, so if you want to update your list, Adrian, I'll take a look and then just send me the cleanest version. Yeah, I had that in mind. I'm having pretty clean with that version I sent, I think. Okay, so I'll I'll bring up the one you sent in after this match. Yeah, I, I appreciate that Adriano is like cognizant of the mapping, right? Which is like what something I'm like pretty uh pretty cognizant as well. I don't want like 80 cards for one matchup and then like none for the rest. That's where you, like obviously before everything was defined in terms of like at least uh you know rough shell is the, the rough shell mapping was dictated by Delver, but I think now I think maybe there's dictated by Delver and Initiative. Uh I think we mold this. This is like way better. Way, way better. Uh I think it's that. Actually, yeah, actually, I think it's that. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to stop this. I feel like I'm supposed to stop this. Wow, that might have just won the game. See, Adriano, you picked the wrong time to uh, to bash Force of Vigor. I'm just messing, obviously. All right, what do we? I think we seize here, probably. I guess we take the 
that's annoying. I guess we take the gamble and hope. We probably could have ramped and just assumed they don't have it, but I just played it safe. No, I think we just take the gamble in case we draw another gamble. I don't think we care about um, empty the warrants. It seems bad. I think we might have won right now, but I don't want to speak too soon. I don't take the the other reason why I don't take the models is because I want to tutor um, collector oof right. Like this might just shut the door. That's pretty good. So we went 3-2, three, 3-2. Two, three, two. Uh, I will open one chest, as promised. Uh... Hey, Hayabusa Magic, how's it going? Uh, what do we open? Uh, nothing relevant. Uh, this, this guy's pretty cool. I remember when this got printed, like I have a Goblin's EDH deck. Tribal in all formats, right? Um... Okay, not we didn't do well, but that's okay. Uh, all right, we I'll bring up Adriano's list again. Uh, here is the list, first of all. And then we'll like build this in real time, I guess. So I think Adriano has the same list. Uh, I think he mentioned something about extra dork. Let's see if that's accurate here. Yeah, he has a fifth dork, and looks like he moved the collector oof to the sideboard. I don't hate it. Uh, I typically try to save sideboard space, but maybe that's not a, as big an issue with the main deck snuff outs now. Um, let's see what else. The death mark here, which I think is like, you know, five cents or whatever it is. Or. And then Noxious Revival I like. I think the Shriek mod, the first one definitely does a lot. Uh, the Snuff Out, I think this is like mostly intact, but like looks pretty reasonable. I want to bring up also how it maps against uh, Initiative first. Actually, let's do Delver first and then Initiative. So open up Link. Uh, against Delver, yeah, we brought out six presumably. Actually five only in this case because the Oof is in the sideboard. You bring up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so only the Shriek Maw comes in. There's no Wheel of Sun and Moon, which does make our matchup a lot worse, but maybe it's fine. Um, all right, let's, we'll close that. And then here is it against Initiative. I For what it's worth, I don't actually think we need to board out all the artisans. I think they're just not great is all, right? I think... Endurance agent, okay, that's six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty reasonable, I guess. Um, I guess second Gris is like pretty good in the matchup, too. And then if we did it the other way, the collector oof is in here in the main. We have the extra um, slot for the wheel of sun and moon, but we would we would not be able to board out the whole artisan package maybe that's okay maybe it's not so i think that's reasonable enough do i even have the shriek mall right now might as well just add it right uh looks like i do not i'll add it later uh as you can see i was up to no good here with four street reads Plus four, okay, I, okay, so if Jason's still here, the other day I played against him, and he's probably confused, why do I have, like, so many street reads? Jason, I actually want you to know, I went four and one in that league, and you were, my, you were my only loss. 
Uh, so I could have actually got this published potentially. Uh, this is last week, I think. With a four snuff out, four street reef deck. That was that would have been pretty cool, right? You could also swap Oof and Agent Main. Um, I think Oof is better main. And the and the reason is twofold. I think one, it's mono green, so you don't actually have to worry as much about body, though that's less relevant now because of the snuff outs. Uh, number two, it's two mana, not three. Uh, opposition agent game one, less likely to get there, but can. Uh, the problem, the thing is, opposition agent like is randomly good against fetch lands. Uh, whereas oof being monocolor is like kind of relevant as a two drop, but again, I like to like squeeze as much uh, hate as possible. But um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? Uh, all right. I guess I'll make a you know copy, and then we'll call this Adriano list, right? I like that alliteration, Adriano artisan, right? Um, and then what we would do is I think he had another dork, so oops. Wrong one. I guess I moved. I must have moved all my dorks to the other account. But no, no, I'm good. I, I I can figure it out. It's just like it's not a big deal. Uh, I was, I, actually, I'm not like super computer savvy too. I probably might just screw that up. But like, I I get the idea, right? You you move the uh the collector to the sideboard. Um, because you have just like less cards than you need against Delver, presumably. I do, I do think we like put that into somewhat jeopardy by losing the Wheel of Sun and Moon, but not a deal breaker for what it's worth. Actually, one is going to get cut no matter what because of the, uh, Shriek Maw. I think the second one, like, I kind of don't want the first one, but again, it's not like great against, um, it is not a great, a uh, Swap agent with oof. Uh, I think you're right. So let me see what. Okay, so I think you had agent. Sorry, oof in the sideboard and then agent in the. Yeah, I like agent in the sideboard because at least oof is like more relevant right right now. So I think that's fair. And then you add the extra dork right, and then, uh, and then you and if you have the extra dork, then you only need five cards, so this can be cut. I think we can cut the force of vigor. Let me see what you did. Actually, I have it here in the other uh, in the other image. So cut the force of vigors, and then we can add a another what is it called? another grist. But you don't have to bring it in against Delver. That's reasonable. Good against control too, for what it's worth. Uh, and then maybe the death mark is like the fifth removal spell or whatnot, right? It's like reasonable. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. Like, and then you have the first Noxious Revival too, which, like, does double duty against. Uh, I do like the Noxious Revival because it's good against Doomsday and uh, Reanimator. Uh, so yeah, we can do. Where is that? One in the sideboard. I think two is would be nice because like, the problem is you can't board everything out, but maybe that's okay, right? Against initiative, that is. Actually, that's I take that back because, even if we do. Even if we do have the extra door, uh, sorry, we have the Delver um, matchup, have six cards to bring in. One of them has to be the uh, the Wheel of Sun and Moon anyway, so maybe that is like a hedge, right? Uh, I, I, yeah, probably not great. Like it beats, it, it won us the match right now, but like not really a great card to be honest. I can see something like, if we really want to save the sideboard slot, right? We could do that, move this, Back to the main, and then uh, or and then the two removal spells, right? Like we play the death mark and then the the shriek maw. I think that's like reasonable too. Assuming you don't want to, I think having the one artisan against um against Delver might be okay, but not Delver, sorry, against initiative. Like I don't think we have to completely board them out like we do against uh, Delver, where like. Drawing a natural order can just like lose you the game on the spot. 
Uh, so that is like one reason to like not have to take everything out. But I think I do think extra removal, uh, efficient ones at least. I guess initiative is probably worth it. And they're not going to keep in Chalice, presumably. Like, it's not great. So, yeah. Anybody have any questions? That's, like, just, like, picking Adriano's mind there, um, who is a fantastic player, by the way. Uh, if you want to follow um, a good modern player, just a good player in general, I think Adriano here, uh, so strong, is somebody you should, uh, should follow, give a follow on Twitter. So I would definitely give your list a try, Adrian. I think uh, I think the fifth dork is definitely really interesting, and being able to board out all the artisans against uh, initiative is nice. I'm not sure if it outweighs um, losing the wheel of sun and moon against combo, though, for what it's worth. Uh, and I think we can live with maybe one artisan. The pro the thing is like the dorks are good against um like i don't like to lose cyborg slots so i think we can maybe live with that but i do like the idea of the death mark i also forgot to cut a bog by the way so you keep two so you can leave one artisan in. that's fair uh that is fair uh and then we just have less for delver uh maybe that is like playing with fire but i guess i have to try it, right the delver matchup does feel very good right now for what it's worth uh the other thing is like agent main is Probably the worst it's been in a while. So maybe we should just play five dorks regardless. A lot of this changes too once Moloch becomes uh, available. Uh, I think our deck is... You're going to see probably the end of Visionary and Wirewood. Uh, once Moloch becomes available online. Like this deck is going to be completely rebuilt around that. And potentially this other card that I, I saw in uh, Warhammer 40k. Right? Like there's this one draw card that's like pretty good too I saw. Uh, that one I'm less sure about than Moloch, which I think is probably a very good card. Uh, and probably we'll be going for playing uh, Birds of Paradise instead of uh, the Dorks because of red. But that's, you know, in the near future, I guess. All right, anybody have any questions? I think we went pair of three twos today. Uh, not bad. I think we can raid either Legacy Pit or... Modern. I think Red Legacy Pit makes more sense. Um, here are my socials again for those who enjoy my content. Uh, I, we went three two. I think the first league I was a little bit sloppy. The second league we ran into like Rider Flame decks, and we just it is what it is. Right, we're not gonna beat those decks. Like for them, we even beat one of them, but one out of three. Right. Uh, okay. So that said. I will go ahead and ra now raid the Legacy Pit. Does anybody have any questions for me? Or uh, And shout out again to um, Tony Scapone for the raid earlier. Anytime, Adriano. And I... Um, what's it called? Yeah, I would love... If you're available, like, we'll talk offline, but like we always do. But yeah, if you want to join the stream like in the future, uh, I am off next week if you want to do that. So probably we'll have, try to have like, some go uh, ghosts. Some guests on the stream. Uh... And the same thing with Jason, obviously, who has uh, been a big supporter of the stream and uh, obviously offered his uh, unique insight into the initiative deck as well. Maybe we can even do like a swap, right? Like I'll play, you know, Modern Shadow for Adriano and then uh, we can play like uh, the initiative or, or depth deck with Jason and, and vice versa. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. So, so something to look forward to perhaps next week. Um, maybe even this, this week I can see myself streaming perhaps Friday. That might be a day that I'm, that I next stream. We'll see. But I, I do have a week off starting Friday and then, um, we'll try to get in as many streams as possible. Uh, hopefully everybody had fun tonight as well. And then, uh, and learn something. Um, and then shout out to Adriano for his list. I will definitely try that out my next league. Um. Just not on stream at the moment because I am a little bit tired. It is 10 p.m. here. Uh, I am an old man, so whatever that's worth. All right, I'll go ahead and, and go ahead and raid in, uh, the Legacy Pit now. All right, see ya, Adriano. I, I, we can talk offline, too. Like I think you have some, uh, some good points you brought up. 